and say, Kolein la Yahweh ba Shem Yahweh Shai. So Damaz said, "Elsa GMS and honestly, Akim, peace and bless you, brother, sister. That listen, hopefully, elect man, Kolein la Yahweh ba Shem Yahweh Shai. Beautiful day, man, to do this work. Like we all been saying, you know, like we've been saying for the last couple of weeks, 2024 is almost here, man. We'll see what the apostle coined this year." But um, Aisha has already shown you, because he has to, right? That's a part of the uh, revelation of method, showing you what's, what's possibly going to happen, which we believe through the Spirit, because it's so called election year. We've been seeing for the past couple of years, they're trying to shut shit down, man. They want to get the ball moving. They already got the ball moving with C19. Now we see a whole lot of people this week dropping dead again, celebrities and singers. And, and we told you so, man. People getting blood clots and different uh, heart conditions. We already told you people, this was gonna happen, man. Yeah. And then and now we told you the, the beast system he's about, because the Lord also is telling you what's happening. The devil's showing you on the left-hand side and the most High's showing you the right-hand side, man. Mm -hmm. Through his men, man. Okay? Giving you the understanding of the book, man. Let's get that Nehemiah 8 and 8. Huh. It's not all just reading. The scripture says with all that reading, we gonna get it. <laughs> and let's get Revelation 1 and 3. Mm -hmm. Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 8 So they read in the book And in the law of the Most High distinctively Or distinctly And gave the sense and caused them To understand the reading There you go, that's why the Most High have the prophets To give you understanding of the reading Okay We're giving you understanding Alright, let's read Revelation 1 and 3 Revelation the 1 verse 3 Blessed is he that readeth And they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand time is at hand time is at hand man okay we don't got that much time left like we said we literally just looking for the MOTB at this point WW3 is already pushed off and started the whole world looking at this whole Israel and Hamas situation okay and then of course we've been also beginning on the economy um, they're about to crash the economy because the CBDC is already in the works it's already law ready, all right? They just have to bring it forth. They're already coming with this. They already came with C-19, and they try to come with something else, man. Okay? And we've been showing you through the spirit of your how about Shemiel Shah, it's different cyber attacks and EMPs that this devil had planning. You heard we showed the clip with Klaus Schwab openly telling you it's going to make C-19 look like a small disturbance. Mm. Then we showed, we showed them clips. Okay? And we know for a fact that's coming next. Okay, that's the next one, man. Either EMP or cyber attack. But they both gonna have similar um, um, um outcomes. You know, it's gonna lead to the collapse of the economy at the end of the day. Yeah, people gonna turn on each other, chaos. The elite gonna sit back and watch it happen. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. They're gonna then, watch through the CCTVs. Yeah. I should tell you, a man not gonna have pity on his neighbor, man. Okay. It's the second as this is second as 13. It's 29. Second as chapter 13, verse 29. Behold, the days come. Behold, the days come when the most high will begin to deliver them now upon the earth. We in that time now. Who's them? The elect. Okay, not all Israel. Vast jar, you niggas gonna get put to death right here. Because you trust in the beast and the system. So you're gonna die with it, man. All right, let's read on. Verse 30. And he shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth. And one shall undertake to fight against another. They're looking at the priests of the Most High, man. God. All right. Go ahead. It says, And one shall undertake to fight against another. One city against another. One place against another. One people against another. And one realm against another. There's going to be war everywhere, man. Because the Most High is the ultimate power of war. All right. You see, scripts say he held his peace for a long time. Now he's about to just, man, he's going to show you who, that title, Alashajan, that's the title. Okay? He's going to show you why he was called that, man. Mosiah is a dreadful power. And that's why evil, like um, like we're saying, um, wickedness is an all time high. Because the scripture says he held his peace. People don't fear the Mosiah, man. All right? But we come in the time, you're going to fear him, man. He's to be feared, man. All right, it's I tell you that in Psalms the ninety-sixth chapter, man. He's supposed to be revered above all gods, man. All right. Go ahead. So there's gonna be war everywhere. 
cities against cities, one people against another, race riots. You're going to have what? World wars. Um, these proxy wars are just going to turn into world wars. And the scripture says one realm against another. The spiritual realm going to open up. Okay? You're going to have strange sightings out here. Okay? You're going to have Leviathan going to show up. Strange creatures. Creatures newly created. And of course, just principalities and demons, man. Remember what they doing with CERN? Yeah, and, and how we know that because the Mosai did it to the Egyptians back then. He did it to them back then. Yeah. Okay. Darkness that could be felt. You see, and it would play all type of spirits. The scripture say that Psalm seventy nine verse forty nine or Psalm seventy three and forty nine. He sent evil angels among them. Man. That's that's scary. You see, I got a precept for me. Wow. Uh, Sirach forty three and verse twenty nine. It says. The Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, is terrible and very great and marvelous is his power. You know, his power is, mar is, is marvelous, man. He's terrible. All right? He's scary, man. He's just going to what? Uh, uh, is, it, is it a dreadful thing, a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God? And guess what? All you wicked demons out there, you about to fall into the hands of the living God. Are right, you already in his hands? He's about to put you to death, man. Because you refuse to repent and get right. The Israelites, you the blacks, that's your Native Americans, man. All right, the same plagues that brought up ancient Egypt is coming to America very soon. You see that? But it can be um, more. All right, this is this is this is it. You see? So he about to show his power, man. He, like the brother said through the spirit, y'all don't know why he was called God Almighty, Allah Shaja, terrible demon-like power, because he's terrible, man. He's he's terrifying. <laughs> you know, those that don't fear the Most High, you gonna fear him soon, man, because you gonna know what's him. Let it show that in the movie The Mist. You know, all that was going on. That's the verses right there. All that was popping off. She said, the God of the Israelites, you know? He said, we have mocked them too long. And now he wants retribution in blood, you see? And he, man, they were getting dragged by all type of creatures and shit, dying. So, as Brother Red, one rum against another, man. The spiritual realm will be opened up. Brother mentioned Leviathan, all right? All type of creatures you never even knew was created. It's gonna go into newly, creatures, uh, newly created, breathing out fire, man, you know? The ocean, 95% but not discovered. You know, increasing gonna come out of the ocean. That's man. in that same Sirach 43. When you read verse, I think, 10 on down. Con. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 43, verse 10. At the commandment of the Holy One, they will stand in their order and never faint in their watches. Look upon the rainbow and praise him that made it. Yeah, I shall prefer to that. So you gotta pay for that. You can't even wear you know, nothing with the rainbow, man. You can't. Because they perverted it. I get it. It says, very beautiful is it in the brightness thereof. It could pass with the heaven about with a, the with a glorious circle. And the hands of the Most High have bended it. Read verse 24. Verse 24. They that sail on the sea tell of the danger thereof. And when we hear it, and when we hear it with our ears, we marvel thereat. For therein be strange and wondrous works variety of all kinds of beasts and whales created there you go verity that's another world within itself to see okay diverse beasts in there man it's all kind of creatures in the sea that we don't know about you know the king of the sea is leviathan man it's Job the 41st chapter psalms 104 okay you go by various names i shall call him godzilla right uh the kraken see they all knew about leviathan in the past man the most I got him hit for a time. He gonna make his, his come in too, man. All right, read on. Mm -hmm. Read it on, verse 26. Uh, that's before the 26. By him the end of them have prosperous success. By his word all things consist. We may speak much and yet come short within of some he is all how shall we be able to magnify him for he is great above all his works he's great above all his works okay is there anything more what verse is that not as it because i went to the um i read the other one verse 29 already i got another precept all right there, so man. yeah that's it man no yeah another precept Psalms 104 all right go on to the ocean Psalms 104 verse 26 it said, that's verse 24. O Lord, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, how manifold are thy works, and wisdom has thou made them all. Yahweh Shai. 
All right? Who is the wisdom of the Most High? He, he created everything. The Most High gave him the blueprint. Okay? And he created everything along with the elect. All right? Go ahead. It says, um, The earth is full of thy riches. So this great and wide sea. It's like it. Wherein are things creeping innumerable, both small and great beasts. There go the ships. There is that Leviathan whom thou hast made to play therein. There you go, Leviathan, man. So how dreadful is the Most High, man? Yeah, man. And, I just, and we didn't mention Leviathan. We didn't mention the seas. Then the scripture says, um, in that same Sirach 43, let's jump back. She says, you only seen what? Few of his works. God, is it? Yeah, I right. Let's get, let's get that. Sirach 43, and we are 29, um, read it again on down. It says, the Lord is terrible and very great and marvelous is his power. When he glorify the Lord, exhort him as much as he can, for even yet will he far exceed. And when he, he exhort him, put forth all your strength and be not weary, for you can never go far enough. Mm -hmm. Verse 31, who have seen him that he might tell us, who can magnify him as he is. There are yet hid greater things than these be, we have seen but a few of his works. Yeah, we just talked about the strange and diverse creatures that's in the sea. And there's many other creatures that we don't know about. People talk about the dinosaur, this, that, and the third. We don't know what's out there, man. Mm. Right? There might be continents that might be hit. We don't know. Right? We'll know in the kingdom. Right? Parts of the Amazon they haven't discovered, man. All right? The world is vast, man. This earth is vast, man. There's all sorts of hidden treasures. And the scripture says we only seen what? A few of his works. Mm. We didn't even talk about the galaxy and the universe. We're just talking right here on Earth. Wow. Like we said, they haven't discovered the vast majority of the sea. Right? But people are going to turn around and talk about there is no God. Right? They're going to look at everything and, 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 and this is all this all represents order. Life, creation, the ecosystem. Right? Everything, man. How everything flows. We all connected. That's what the Most High said, Revelation 11, 18. He's going to destroy those that destroyed the earth, man. You polluting the sea, you polluting the air. That affects the birds, that affects the animals, and that affects us. Right? Because we eat a lot of the fish. Right? We eat the cows. We eat, even if you just say, I'm a vegetarian, this motherfucker spraying pesticide on the fruits. All right? Um, uh, mixing seed, man. That's against the scriptures, man. Let's get to Deuteronomy 22 and 9. That's why a cluster of grapes, you could carry it in, in the palm of your hand, man. That's not supposed to be. He don't keep the land Sabbath. Mm. So everything's contaminated. Everything is polluted, man. It's not yielding its increase. Nothing is yielding its increase, man. The earth is a living thing. Then the scripture talk about Job and say, you see the breath of the earth? Mm. Earth is a living thing, man. That's why it supports all organisms, man. Okay, what you think these, these plants come out of the earth, man? The earth is a living thing, man. All right? What you got? This is Deuteronomy, the verse. 22 and 9. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 9. It says, Thou shalt not sow thy vineyard with diverse seeds, lest the fruit of thy seed which thou hast sown, and the fruit of thy vineyard be defiled. Let's read it again. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 9. Thou shalt not sow thy vineyard with diverse seeds, lest the fruit of thy seed which thou hast sown, and the fruit of thy vineyard be defiled. So I like so I can read more time, so I can. It says, Thou shalt not sow thy vineyard with diverse seeds. Your vineyard, man. Alright? You're not supposed to sow the vineyard. It's like a wine farm with diverse seed. And which also you take it on a, a carnal level, you, a woman not supposed to have multiple partners. Because she comparable to the earth. She so have multiple men sowing seed in you, you you're unclean. Alright? Go ahead. It says, Thou shalt not sow. Thou shalt not sow thy vineyard with diverse seeds, lest the fruit of thy seed which thou hast sown, and the fruit of thy vineyard be defiled. Yeah, I shall be mixing the grapefruits, mixing the oranges. Spicing the jeans. Yeah, spicing the jeans. Right, cross pollen. All this wicked shit this man is doing, man. That's why you have fruits that's all year round. Okay, because he's mixing this do standard third growth hormone in here. Put part of that's why I get certain fruits grow in the winter. That's not supposed to be, man. Kind of candy flavored grapes. Yeah. All right? That shit is disgusting. He's mixing seeds, man. And that's GMOs. It's genetically modified, man. And he's doing things with the meat and lab grown meat. So we got to get the hell up out of here, man. The most I said, that's an abomination. 
That's an abomination, man. You're not supposed to crossbreed animals either. Okay? Because that leads to what? Confusion. Everything is supposed to what? Be able to reproduce itself. The Most High set everything up in order. Excuse me. Let everything be done in decently and in order. The earth's supposed to represent that, man. But the scripture says, oh, Isaiah 29 and 16. Let's get that. Isaiah chapter 29 verse 16. It says, Surely a turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not? Mm. Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding? There you go. So he's coming up against the most high. Right. right? He's just clay. Mm. He said, We got a better design. Right. Motherfucker, you all, what's his name? You, you go, you go, 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 Noel. Go. Yeah. He said, uh, demon. yeah, we could create an AI Bible. We don't need the Bible no more. This stand the third. We could be the gods. This, he's speaking boldly against the heavens. He's speaking against his maker. Okay. That scripture says, stand the thing formed. Let's read it again. And also, I think that's also in Isaiah 44 chapter 2. Yeah. Let, me, let me find it. Romans 9. Yep. This is Isaiah chapter 29 verse uh, 16. Surely you're turning of things upside down. So you turn everything upside down. Okay? Giving people rights that have no business um, having rights. Right? Sexual deviance. Giving them rights. And they polluting children's mind too. The ability to turn to a man to a woman. That's craziness. A a and then put up put on their birth certificate, you was born a um, a woman. That's wicked as hell. Nowadays, you ask someone what is a woman, and they're confused. Remember, they asked the fucking Supreme Court justice. Yeah. The, the the black woman, she's the first one. The woman said, "What's a defined woman?" She couldn't do it. And she said, "You don't know what a woman is. You can't define it, right?" The stuff you learn in freaking as a child, what a woman is, man. Her ovaries, a reproductive system, right? Her estrogen, her period, her purpose. To bring forth children. Uh, and we're woman literally means a female servant. And to be what? Submissive to her Lord. Boom. That's it. That's what a woman that's is. What a, yep, that's a woman. Okay, that's what she was created to do. Look at Oprah. All that money she got, she got no offspring, man. Okay, you can tell she feel empty inside. She'll give up, we guarantee you, she'll give up half of that money to have a um have some children, man. But she trusts in what? The devil and his feminism. See, her and that lesbian other witch, Gail King. Oh, I'm successful, this, that, and the third. They have no goddamn children. Licking and lapping on each other. That was, that was a shame back then. That's a shame, man. And it's, it's still a shame today, but... That's the, that's the, you want to be, what, an independent woman. See, the serpent's way is not a good way, man. The serpent's way leads to death. That's the, and who, where did he, that goes back to the garden. He gave Eve what? Is, is, is it Hosea 10, 13? And he's doing it again. There's nothing new under the sun. It's the same characters all over again, just in a different form. Just that back then he had melanin. Okay, the Most High took that away, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It made him a damn beast. All right? Vagabond. Coming out of the caves. That's what he did. The beast right? of the, men. Yep. Yeah. This is Hosea chapter 10, verse 13. He had plowed wickedness, he had reaped iniquity. He had eaten the fruit of lies. That's what he gave Eve. The fruit of lies, man. That's that fruit that she ate. Philosophy and doctrine. Because it wasn't an actual fruit, man. Yeah, exactly. People still don't understand the garden. Even the men of the Lord broke it down countless times already, man. It was the fruit of lies. Just like you women today. You ate the fruit of lies, man. You listened to the serpent. We went into the whole feminist music, Gloria and Steinem. And now you got all men today complaining about relationships, relationships, marriage. There's no more family. But you guys not calling out the culprit, man. Fresh and fit, you guys ain't calling out the culprit. It, was, it wasn't a woman who came up with the idea of feminism. It was a so-called white man, man. That's right. You got to call a spade a spade, man. That's right, yeah. They're not crafty enough to think of some shit like that, man. It was the devil who came up with that idea, man. And then they was like, oh, this sounds nice. I see, I, I, could go, I could go down with this. It, it wasn't the Asian man. It wasn't the Arab man. It wasn't the African nope. man. It wasn't the Japhite. Who, who created that philosophy? It was the serpent. Yes. 
right now. You gotta call the shit what it is, man. And take it further, was the Amalekite the top, the top devil, man, on the planet Earth, man? Because they want to indoctrinate children so they could uh, poison the next generation, which you see, you see it right now. You see it, yeah. This yeah. is evidence of it right now. Okay, everything is just completely destroyed, man. All right, but now Yahweh Shemel Shah has a remnant. Mm. We're saying that just did a video on the what the carpenters build this shit back right how it's supposed to be because those are the same man Ben back then with Yahweh Shai that was building man creation all right and now those men are back here today again the scripture talks about um first Corinthians the 15th chapter Yahweh Shai was the firstborn of many brethren that's what the resurrection is and the elect after him every man in his own lot first fruits and when you read the law it's an exodus the 23rd chapter it's on 10 somewhere on down the first fruits you brought it into the house of the most high so you brothers that's called you've been called what into the, the brother gonna read it Come. exodus 23 and 10 in six years thou shalt sow thy land and shalt gather in the fruits thereof but the seventh year Thou shalt let it rest and lie still. Yeah, I shall not keep in the land. You're not keeping these laws. Right? We're not IUIC. But you're not keeping the laws. Bro. You're not keeping the commandments. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're not keeping the laws, man. You're not. There's a law of the land, man. All right? It just everything just makes sense. The most high rested on the seventh day, man. Well, the Allahim. Yahweh Shai and the, um, the angels, man. That was a covenant between him and creation. Yeah. If I agree, Genesis 2 and 1, and we're going to finish that. We're going to prove that. The Sabbath didn't just come when Moses came. It goes back to the beginning, man. Mm -hmm. All right, let's read it. Genesis chapter 2, and verse 1. It says, Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the hosts of them. And on the seventh day, of, it says, And on the, se the seventh day, the al Hayim ended their work, which he had made. He rested on the seventh day from all his work. Which there you go. Made. There you go. He rested on the seventh day, which was a period of a thousand years. But that don't mean that he was tired. Yeah. All the was huffing, puffing. All the work didn't. No, man. I mean, they ceased from work. I said they ceased. They that's stopped. right. And that's when that commandment came from the heavens on the Sabbath. He worked six days and the seventh day, which is all based off the new moon. That's how we uh, uh, determine our calendar. It's a lunar based calendar. We rest. So that goes back to the beginning. Like we said, we're going through the spirit bit been on brothers. We're going through everything that we're doing here on earth is a model after model, the heavens, yeah, man. Yeah. The priesthood that was set up, the order they were set up, that goes 24 L that that's based off the um the heavens, man. Yahweh Shai, the chief high priest, the Ark of the Covenant, the Holy Ark, that is all based off the heavens, man. It didn't start down here on earth, man. All right. To back that yeah, up yeah, right quick. Kind of, kind of. Matthew 6, and straight to the point, verse uh, 10. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. And jump jump back to the first fruits after that. Let's read that. Yeah. Come. Uh, uh, Matthew 6 and verse uh, 10. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Okay. The earth's supposed to be a reflection of the spiritual realm. Okay. There's order in the heavens, man. And the Most High, He's setting up that order now on earth. He's going to give it, it's Sirach the 10th chapter. He's going to give it to one that is profitable in due time. We're going to get that, Sirach 10. But let's read the first fruits. Let's read Exodus 23. Exodus 23 and 10. In six years thou shalt sow thy land and shalt gather in the fruits thereof. But the seventh year thou shalt let it rest and lie still, that the poor of thy people may eat. And what, that's like, like until like the welfare. You know what I'm saying? It says, um, and what they leave the beasts of the field shall eat. In like manner thou shalt deal with thine vineyard and with thine olive yard six days thou shalt do thy work and on the seventh day thou shalt rest that thine ox and thine ass may rest and the son of thy handmaid and the stranger may be refreshed there you go refresh mm. and you know that's why i shall created caffeine coffee right you know that right mm. yeah. during the time of the uh, industrial era they wanted people to what to keep working see no rest no rest because with coffee, with caffeine, you can just you can keep going and keep going and keep going. They didn't want to give people rest days like that. They said, yo, keep drinking coffee. Caffeinated. 
So you keep doing, sir. You can keep working oh, and working. Five-hour energies. Yeah. You know, monster drinks, energy yeah, that's, drinks. That's, that's, that's off. Your body so is a machine. Yeah. It's gonna have. It needs to be replenished. It needs to rest. It needs to eat the right foods, nutrition. Okay. It's like it's like. It's like I say, it needs sleep. It needs sleep. Oh, beautiful. I'm glad you said that. It's like a computer. A computer you can keep it on all. You know, it needs to put it in rest. It needs downtime. You know, shut it down or rest. You know, think. You know, it'll, it'll overwork itself. It'll it'll break. It'll get overheated. It'll get overheated. Burn up. It'll burn up. Then now you're wondering why your computer don't work. So that's that's like I tell uh, people. You wondering why you, you can't function the same. You know. And they're drinking all these different cups yeah, of coffee. Yeah. That's why they created it. You can't speak straight because you haven't slept in days, man. You just working nonstop. You need rest. Man. It's not balance. You got, yeah, you need balance, man. Most sides are just balance. Fourth balance is abomination to y'all, Bashi Belshaw. See? You got? Let's read that. Uh, reading on. Where we at? We have verse 13 now. Exodus 23 and 13. And in all things they that have. Suck it. And in all things that I have said unto you, be circumspect and make no mention of the name of the gods, neither let it be heard out of thy mouth. And that's it, because after that goes to um, the feast of. Matter of nope, like verse 16. In the feast of harvest, the first fruits of thy labors which thou hast sown in the, in the field. And in the feast of in gathering, which is That's in the yep. Yep. read on, which is in the end of the year when thou hast gathered in thy labors out of the field. Yeah, that's before the harsh winter come in. Yep. Feast of Tabernacles, Gad. Three times in the year, all thy male shall appear before Yahweh Bashemal Shai. The three, the three feasts: the feast of unleavened bread, yep. the feast of first fruits, and the feast of Tabernacles, right. also known as the feast of in gathering. Mm. Right, Gad. Verse 18, Exodus 23 and verse 18. Thou shalt not offer the blood of my sacrifice with, uh, with leavened bread, neither shall the fat of my sacrifice remain until the morning. The first of the first fruits of thy land thou shalt bring into the house of Yahweh thy power. And that's spiritually, that's us. The first fruits, the best crops, mm. you're supposed to bring into the house of the Most High. And that's what brothers are that, that's called into this. That's you've been called into this knowledge. Mm. See? The, the cream of the crop, man. That's the elect. And that's what the elders say. You're the first of your family line. You've been called. You got the inheritance, which is the truth. And you've been called into the house of Yahweh Shemuel Shah. This is that treasure, like we've been saying. It's not the bullshit that's out here, man. That's all a facade, man. And that's what the apostle Paul was teaching, man. Those that are rich fall into what? All, all sorts of temptations. Niggas want to try new things, man. Never satisfied. They never satisfied. Because their soul is not um um filled with, with, with the word. They soul it lacks uh, uh it's the foundation. Yeah, it lacks the foundation. it lacks hydration. They don't got the, the water of life. So they're thirsty. That's why they get fame. You know, it's what goes like famished, be hungry. You know, that's why they get thirsty after that. So they stay thirsty. You know, and they can't get it. And we got it though, Isaiah 41st chapter. Yeah. Let's get that. We got it. We got it. This we is this, whom I so love. The know. rivers of living water. Right. Okay. So we that's why we that's what um like a lawyer how Shah said what? I'll give unto you rest. All that, you know, um labor, labor yeah. and the heavy laden, I'll give unto you rest. You see? So we gotta rest through your Shah. Through this knowledge, through wisdom understanding. We can sleep good at night. You know what I'm saying? These these celebrities, do you think P. Diddy is sleeping good at night, man? How the Michael Jackson gonna go to sleep without popping pills? Right. Will Smith, you know he can't sleep good at night. They see no type of demons, man. He plagued in his mind. Yeah, because those are, those are the spirits you made a contract with. Yeah. And good riddance. All right, what precept you got? Yeah. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 17. It says, When the poor and needy seek water, and there is none, in, and their tongue faileth for thirst, I, the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh, will hear them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. There you go. We are the poor and needy. This is that dry and thirsty land. Mm. All right? There's no truth out here. Look what they're pushing. Look what they're promoting. Like the brother talking about celebrities. They're pushed out there, influences. And they're empty vessels, man. They're empty vessels, man. I'm telling you to chase some bag, man, that has no value. That did the value in every single day. It's literally a fiat currency. Man. Yeah. And the, the, the soul of the man, there's no morality, there's no ethics, no code of conduct, there's no honor, man. Amongst men or women, they're not pushing that, man. To be honest, to be upright, to be righteous, to give to the poor, to the meek. They're not saying that. To be humble, to be modest, modest living. You know, they're not. They don't push none of those things, man. 
That's what chase the bag, man. Like 50 said, get rich or die trying. Yeah. Do what it takes. Like yeah. Alistair Crowley said, do as thou wilt. Jay-Z had that on his shirt. Yeah. yeah. You see? They push what? Covetousness. And the script says it's not a more wicked thing than, a, than, an, an, than the eye, man. And there's also one in Sirach 14, I think, in 10. Most eyes against covetous, man. And that's also in 1 John 2.15. Right? That means you love the world, man. Let's get that too. It's a little bit more excellent. Right? So we not in that spirit, man. The bag, the bag. That's all niggas talk about is a fucking bag, man. The scripture says it's a small thing in the, in the eyes of Heavenly Father to make a poor man rich. That's nothing. Look what he did for King David, man. Look at his devils in the camp. Look at all that cat. That shit heavy too, man. That's a heavy one, man. They probably said, double the dosage. He's like, but <laughs> sir, you're going to die too. Double the dosage, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, man, he's such a fucking devil, man. The devil, that shit heavy, man. Camera can see it? Yeah. Yeah. Literally, it's three. That represents the, um, the DNA healing strands. Vanessa, they got a third strand. That shit crazy. That one look crazy, huh? And then, look, people don't think about these things. Look what they spray in the fucking air. Yeah, this is real life. Hey, this is a theory. I mean, this, you know, this is a theory. No, this is real life. They spray chemicals. All right, that's what's called chemical trails. You Jake's want to make it here. You want to live here, stay here. You want to get out of this place, man. You got to get out of here, man. You niggas talking about the bag. Chase the bag. Get rich and die. You going to die trying it, man. The bag, that the money is an idol, man. That's yeah, off, man. That's off. She says money is a defense, but it's a chief defense is wisdom. Right. Like, like, like Solomon said, if you had the wisdom, you could sit amongst kings. The, the desire of wisdom leads to a kingdom, man. All right, A righteous kingdom, man. Because in our kingdom, we're not going to have chemtrails, man. Nope. You're not gonna dump shit in the ocean, man. Okay? Everything will be nice and pure and clean. We're not gonna, clean yeah, we're not gonna overwork the animals and overwork the 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 the, 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 or the fields, man. They Mix and right. seed. Yeah. Everything's gonna push this full increase, man. We're gonna tell the ants to chill, it'll chill, man. Y'all working very hard, man. You know, take a break, goddammit. You know, ants work hard as hell. You know, as like, soon as go to look at the ant thou slugger, man. They work, they, they lift twice their weight. I think like a hundred times their weight they be lifting up. You know? No, yeah. Yeah, he definitely like a swab. And we walk past, I guess, one of his relatives, Charles. Charles yeah. yeah, Charles Swab. Yeah. yeah. And there's a, he's a bank owner on the bank. So all them, there's some devils in high places, man. Yeah, devils in high places. And Henry, Henry Kissinger type of guys, man. Yeah. He just, huh? he just put the dust. Damn, that shit was over there. Bro. And it's over there, too. It's like, I love him. We gotta get out of this place, man. You know what I'm saying? You sold the fucking devil, man. Mm -hmm. Sweet on, you got it? So, um. Did you lose this one? No. Oh, so that's not it. You holding first John? I have first John 2, also 15, yeah. Oh, you got Sirach 14? Yeah, Sirach. yeah, let's get that. Sirach 14 and verse 10, it says, oh, sorry, verse 9. A covetous man's eye is not satisfied with his portion. There you go. That's why niggas start plotting on each other. Yeah. Right, stealing and killing. It's like yeah, for me, add that's like 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 groups, like rap groups, or whatever. Or they, a rapper's famous now. He got like, his mans with him. They not they not uh, um, happy with their portion that he's giving them. So they get covetous. They be like, nah, we line they, them up, we gonna rob them. They yep. think it was the ops, but it was us. Like they did that. Uh, this nigga like six nine. They did that. It's yeah. mad rappers. They that's all rap pushes covetous. Yeah. You base niggas, man. Oh, it was, a, it was an interview with Pop Smoke. He talking, and you see his man's behind him. One of them gave him how to eat while he was like, he's looking at him. They, 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 they screwed, they and nobody knows others. what happened with him. Yeah. Right? That everybody in the room is quiet. Yeah. That was an industry hit. Mm -hmm. Right? They hit They hit that dude, man. Yeah. Okay. Another one, Rod Wave. He, he um, had a whole bunch of money. He flexed some money. And one of his homies behind him was just like staring at him. Talking about some fifteen year old fifteen year old kid shot him up in Beverly Hills, man. And they didn't the ambulance didn't even came, it was that same fucking fire truck. 
Yeah, the yeah. fuck is a fight always there, man? It was a lot of numerology too. Yeah, it was six exact- six on it, it on all that shit, man. So industry hits, man. Okay. What you got? Read it on. It's a little more sloppy. It says, um, Sirach 14 and 9, a covetous man's eye is not satisfied with his portion. That's what scripture says. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, and neighbor's wives, his manservant, nor anything that is thy neighbor's, man. Because then you start stealing, killing, and doing whatever it takes. And that's against you, how about Shemel Shah? The scripture says, godliness with contentment is great gain. That's what we teach. We don't teach. And that's why these guys talk about red pill. Yeah, they teach about female nature and all that, but they teach covetous as well. They teach the bag. They just replace woman with money. They teach uh, uh, adultery as well. Yeah. Beat a, or beat a man that she wants to cheat with. That's wickedness. fucking wickedness, That's man. Wickedness, what do you mean by that? Man? If we want to be men of honor, men of integrity, we can't be doing that, yeah. man. Yeah. Okay? What we do in this life echoes for eternity. <laughs> you know? I think that was Marcus Wiggins. Yeah. Beat so a man she cheats with. That's, That's wicked. wicked. We're going to be the man that fear y'all by Shemel Shah. Right? You'll be men of the Lord, man. The true light of the world. Yeah. If they want to be if they want to stay by our side, cool. They want to bounce, bounce. That's it. We don't need these old man. We need wisdom. We need Sophia. This is the Greek word for, for wisdom. You see? That's what we need. That's what we, that's what we desire. It brings what? To a kingdom. You see? Chasing the money. Money, like brother said, money is a defense. But guess what? The love of money is the root of all evil. You niggas be, you got, you fall in love with money, man. And money back then wasn't just fiat currency today. Money back then was actually gold and silver things, man. You know, but now it's a, literally a fiat. It's literally an unjust way. People are stupid, man. Yeah, what's back in it is what they call the Petra. Petra, yep, yep, yep. And that's what countries use to trade for petroleum. Yep. It's the dollar, but now you got the OPEC nations now. Um, you got BRICS. Uh, BRICS. Yeah. Which is what? Yeah. Brazil, Russia, India, China, China and, and uh, South, um, South, Africa, South Africa, yeah. And then I think I think fifty one dollar of the bricks is worth like fifty of the U.S. dollars, man. So they about to they they collapsing this the uh, the economy, man. Yep. All right. So you gonna be had in derision? Goes to trust. That's why the scripture says Ezekiel the seventh chapter said night that people gonna throw their gold and silver in the street. The streets, yeah. When the most I start coming down on you, people, your money can't save you. All of the movies that Esau has shown you, cyber attack, EMP, tsunamis, this that, this disease. Well, your money can't save you in times like that, man. The scripture says, um, let's get Proverbs 11 and 4. Okay. It's a little more. But you want me to get that first? Yeah, it's yeah, 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 yeah. And it's spiritual too. They mentioned that because um, not spoiled, you know, but it was a certain scene with the with the money. So an open money, whatever the case may be, he said, I don't know if that's even worth anything now. <laughs> see? You see? It's because it's really not worth nothing. Because you got a $100 bill, and it's the same weight as a $1 bill. That's unjust, man. 100 um, shekels of gold compared to one shekel, you're gonna hold now. Give me the hundred, is way more. You can feel it, it's, it literally outweighed the one. But you go ahead, man, chasing the bag, man. You're gonna die with the bag, you're gonna die with your eyes because the, the, the bag is about to, it's, it's done. It's about to be obsolete. Right, right along with the system. You got go. Right along. You got it, Proverbs 11 and 4? It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath. Riches profit not in the day of wrath. Riches won't be able to redeem you in a time like that. The fat bank account, we just walked past some crazy bank. It looked like a damn bank where people got damn gold. They don't even look like a regular bank. You got it look like people want to put their gold in a vault. They go to that bank, man. It look like some exclusive bank security guard. People like what the fuck is going on in here? Alright? It looked like a bank where you, you put your gold coins. Or your gold bars, and you go put it in a vault, man. You know, because they think that's going to be a guard for the evil time. When all shit break loose, that bank might be destroyed. You may not even get to that bank, man. All right. A cyber attack happens. Your bank, everything in it is done. Exactly. That vaults, everything shut down. All right, go ahead. It says, "Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death." Righteousness. That's what we all supposed to be chasing. Righteousness, right? Doing what's pleasing, like how was I said, I always do the things that please you. This is John eight chapter around twenty nine, right? Pleasing, what's pleasing to the Most High? Doing the work, keeping the commandments, having faith, charity, brotherhood. That's pleasing, man. All right. So the scripture says, right, and also calling on to exalt in His name. Right, niggas don't want to exalt the name, man. 
Okay? And them guys not going to get power. We talking about spirit. You guys talking about Christ and Christ. You're not getting power, man. Who's Because who's giving out the power? Let's get Luke 10 and 1. You're not going to get power, man. It's the book of St. Luke, chapter 10, and verse 1. It says, After these things the Lord appointed other seventy also, and set them two and two before his face into every city and place whither he himself would come. Therefore say he unto them, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that, that he would send forth laborers into his harvest. Mm -hmm. Go your ways, behold, I send you forth as lambs among wolves. So he sent them out two by two. Read verse 17. Verse 17. And the 70 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, that even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. Ooh, through thy name. The spirits are subject unto us through thy name, man. Go ahead. It says, verse 18, and he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents. So who's giving us the power? Christ? Was they saying, Lord, the devils are subject to Christ? Nah, man, the devils are subject to Yahweh Shai. Uh -huh. And then Yahweh Shai said, listen, I give unto you guys power, man. Go ahead. <clears throat> behold, I give unto you God, I, behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. The elite, every all their plans, their agenda, their devices that they have planned, and they're showing you people openly. And they also have plans against us, because the scripture says you're gonna come against those who keep the commandments. Alright? We don't know the glitz and bits and pieces in the movie, but shit gonna happen, man. You know, certain work's going to get done and that's going to cause this devil to start panicking, man. And come after the men of the Lord, man. That's right. See? And we always joke about it, you know, the spiritual works and the spiritual power, man. Bringing people back to life. You know, a nigga gets shot up in the hood and you just happen to walk by. And people coming out of the barber shop, the subway, everywhere. And you just happen to just bring it back to life, man. That's yeah. going to send shockwaves through the earth, man. Yeah. You know, and Esau are gonna have his specialists. Nah, that's camera effects. Yeah. People are gonna be like, nah, that's magic. Some people witchcraft. He was like, nah, I was there, man. I heard him say, how about Shimei Al Shah? The hell? Say, how about Shimei Al Shah? You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That dude gonna hop on her bed later, too. Look yeah, at and she gonna face. fucking be rolling all over the bed with that shit. <laughs> you said it's a car? Dirty yeah, motherfuckers, yeah. yeah. Messed up his sleep. Messed up his sleep. His nap. That's the siesta, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the rest, rest, and it was good. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, man. People gonna be coming from different and see that work, man. Man, that's gonna be powerful, man. Right? It caused many to believe, man. See? Because that's how a lot of the one third Israel, the scripture said Israel is a stiff neck and a hard headed people. So, how some people gonna come in, they have to see the actual work being done. Right? And it's just coming, man. It's coming. Yahweh Shah is not a man that he should lie, man. If he said, listen, don't be so don't be shocked when you see me do he said that day you're gonna do greater things, man. Mm. And he meant that, man. We gotta believe that, man. Alright, what you got? I had a precept. Um you got Psalms chapter 110. That one first. There's another I'm thinking about, but this one I know exactly where it's at. So Psalms 110 and verse 3. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. Jake gonna be willing, man. Everybody's gonna want to be down, man. All right, that's gonna be a beautiful time, man. And it might be 2024, man. We think through this because the left hand gonna make moves, and the most high also gonna make moves on the right hand too. And like we said, we're not just always gonna be preaching and be walking past. Nah, man. Greater things have to happen, man. The truth has already rung throughout the earth. Everybody know about this already. You know, we made our headlines in the news already, right? And the Mosai just did that so everybody can know about it. As he put the spirit on to reprobates like uh, Kanye and Kyrie and uh, this other retard, uh, Nick Cannon. Right? And you can see none of them guys pushing that anymore. Mosai just did that so everybody can know about it, man. Right? Them guys weren't called into this thing, man. You've been ready given your consolation. See? But then the Mosai going to do other works, greater works through his men. Okay? And that's going, man, that's going to be powerful, man. Powerful, man. All right? The scripture says the kingdom of heaven is coming in with great 
power, man. God. And this is the kingdom. The knowledge it starts off as a seed, but it's going to keep growing. Right? And that power is growing within us as well. Scripture. All right? The, the, the ability to understand this book and know the secrets of what the devil coming with and be able to see through his lies, that's power, man. You know, like in Naruto, they, where you had the uh, the shot ink on, he could see through different genjutsus. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah, we have that, man. We could see past the lies and the enchantments out here. We could see past all of that, man. Okay, we've been giving the ice out, man. See, the Lord gave us ice to see past all that. All right, what you got? We don't get caught up in hopes and the dreams and the, the fires that you guys who took the bag. Um, 501c3 charters, you don't really believe either. Okay, that's your little cushion or your little deal in case the Lord don't come back in your lifetime. You're still good. You a damn fool, man. All right, you a fool, man. That scripture says your covenant with death that you made is going to be disannulled. It's going to be canceled, man. And if Yahweh Shai said the best, no man can serve two masters. So you don't believe anyway, man. Mm. All right, what you got? Acts chapter 1 verse 8. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Right here in America. Right here. Okay. This is where the great work's going to be happening. Right? Because it's the last kingdom. Right? So you know the Most High got to close things out with style, man. The Most High is the ultimate Jake. You can look at Jake got swag. The Most High the ult got the ultimate. Where do you think you Jakes get your swag from, man? The Lord, man. Like we said, them Jakes in the 80s, they ain't know nothing about where they get that whole chains and rings on every finger. And they grew up. They didn't see. That's just in them. As soon as they got the bag, they created, what, new styles. And everybody started imitating them. Okay? The whole hip-hop and jewelry. And you Jakes the one that made Chris Style and these different brands of alcohol famous, man. Okay? And the ice shot took a step back like, yo, these niggas have got mad influence, man. How, man? We done killed all their leaders, gave them drugs, and these niggas done took something and created it and made it cool. So you know what? We're we going we gonna to use them to push um, yeah. um, gangster rap and push uh, homosexuality. We're going to use them because they got influence, man, because Jake is what? The salt of the earth, man. All right? What you got? Acts 2 and verse 1 now, it says... And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it was and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire. And it sat upon each of them. Hmm. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. Rakakadash, which we have that as well. And that's how we're learning more, gaining the secrets, breaking down the scriptures, the break. Everything just makes sense. And at the end of the day, it was already in you. That's what we all bring on the word. Educate means to draw from. It was already in you. You said, even though you once knew this, it's already in you. It's in your spirit already. All right? Like, I saw God, uh, certain machines are programmed to do certain things. The Most High has already in your spirit. It's already in your spirit, man. Certain things the Most High has, like, locked away as far as, like, the power, you know, like, you know, certain things that's gonna be done in these last days soon. That's that's the next phase of the ministry. That's gonna that's gonna activate it. Gonna go, most likely gonna activate it. All right. You know, when we do that, as brother said, man, that's gonna further spread this gospel, man. You know, to a point where it's like, oh shit, now he's like, like the, the Superman. He said he was reading the thing, and he didn't understand what it meant. Uh, Br Bright burn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he finally read. He's like, take the world. He understood the message. That's what he was sent to do. Yeah. He was sent to take the world, and man. He did it. He, yeah. he did it as a Jake. He yeah. didn't do it right there or something like. He took his time. He, he started flying through airplanes. He made himself known. Like it's literally on the news now. He's on the news and said they can't find who is the guy. He's having fun with it. He's like, right, now I'm gonna do this over here. You know, so he took his time with it. And his eyes lit up. He was like, ah, yeah. take the world. Yeah. That's Daniel 7:18. Yeah. The, the saints of Moses shall take the kingdom. God, God. You know. Oh, that's that also in the, in the uh, show Invincible. You know what I'm saying? It has 144 volumes. Yep, yep. You know what I'm saying? And the vulture might the Israelites. And it literally, if you watch it, in season um, two, they, they, they're telling you Even that. one, I don't even look at it, but I, so we saw it, um, his uh, One Piece, his, his Gear 5 was... Um, oh, yeah, Luffy, One was, Piece. Was yeah, chapter yeah, yeah. Um, 1044. 1044. That's crazy. 
And he, he had yeah, red yeah. eyes, yeah, white yeah, hair, and white hair. And he became a god. Yeah. You see? That's you, crazy as hell, man. And that power right there, and these enemies, matter of fact, a quick precept. Right? The uh, inspiration coming from the Almighty. Boom. I'm about to get Job 32. We didn't three. even know about it, but we just looked it up and was talking about it. And we saw it said, yeah. he said, um, debut 1044. We was like, yeah. what? Uh, Gohan, his new latest yeah. Girl, yeah. red eyes, white hoodie, you know? And, and uh, the yeah. same. He said, when did Gear 5, we looked at it right. When did Gear 5 debut in the manga? Chapter 1044. Mm. You, you can't make that you can't stuff make up, that up, man. You can't, you make, can't that up. make that up, man. Come on, man. We saw that. We was like, oh, shit. And number five represents his power. Yep. And then he said the story behind it was that it was uh, an ancient power. Of yeah, slaves. yeah. We're going to look it up slaves. again. Yeah. He was sent to come to deliver the slaves. Deliver the slaves. Yeah. Let's yeah. see how it shines as well. Heavy, man. And Mo, I don't know what he's doing. He don't know what he's doing. But the Mo side put the spirit on him. He put the spirit on him to like do like it. this. Job 32 and 8, it says, But there is a spirit in man, and the inspiration of the Almighty gives them understanding. So it's all inspiration from, from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shad. All right? That's why the Vulture Mites and Invincible. Uh, I mean, brothers know more about this than me, but it says. Yeah. Uh, the Saiyans, all Israelites. You know, Superman called El Israelites. All right? They know about our history. They have a record. They know about Samson. They know about King David, the 37 mighty men. They know about these things. They were doing miraculous things back then. They know about Elijah. All right, him calling fire up from heaven. They know about Elisha raising the dead. Had a double portion of um, Elijah's spirit. So this was his name. His name is Nika. They said um, Nika is the name of the mythical warrior that was once revered as a sun god mm. by slaves from the ancient times. Son of God. Yep. Of he was side. first mentioned by the Who's Who's. They the brothers who know about this. Who heard about the legend from a prison guard during his imprisonment by the world government. And who's the world government? These Amalekites. Is the elite, man. It says yeah, sure so they they, they had they they hid the uh the text and the records. Yeah. It says um and it's like it and they are looking like the, the basically Luffy's power in the show, they've been looking for that fruit for a minute, but it disguised that as a new a different fruit. They say it's a gum gum, but it's really a whole nother one, a human human one where you have the power to do basically he can do anything he wants. It's nothing impossible to Luffy. Like any, like everything like a cartoon, like he would make fire uh, underwater he got fire coming out. He could take he could grab lightning. Oh they, they, talk they talk about it right here, they talk about it right here. Got it. And that's probably what brothers are gonna have in these last days, man. This, this, and we have more than that. That's it's, control over that. Yep. They said Nika's existence only recorded in the most ancient of texts, having been otherwise erased in more modern documents. Nika's legend has been passed down for generations in nearly extinct book and air race, being that Barfla Kuma learned about Nika's, mm. Nika's existence from his father during his days of slavery to give him hope. And Kuma later passed the same legend to his adopted daughter. Yep. Let me read on down. Yep. It says, for unknown reasons, the world government is extremely interested in this fruit and has even covered up his identity by renaming it mm -hmm. to Guma Guma no Mi in order to prevent other people and organizations from developing an interest in the fruit and seeking to obtain it for themselves. So the world government did what? They renamed it, man. Renamed it. Renamed Just like they did a lot of shit. Yeah. To right? hide it. To, to, to hide it. Yeah. Just like they hid what? They hid our identity. Yeah. They don't want you to know you're the sons of the power. You're the children of the most high. You got an actual uh, uh, a connection with this higher power. And if you turn from your wicked ways and your sins and you call upon, like Solomon said, you'll come and save you. So we're going to rename you. You guys are black. You're African Americans. You're everything other than what? The true Jews and Israelites, man. Okay? That's who we really are, man. Right? And they're the ones who put different names out there, Yahweh, this and that. Okay, so they prevent you from calling on the true name, man. And setting up wicked men. Right? Even guys, the scripture says they have a form of godliness, man. Set them niggas up, man. Alright? Talking about the name don't matter, it's all just titles. It's how them guys are set up, man. One body for the whole time we've been saying to the spirit, nigga, who, who hired you, man? Who sent you? A little by little start taking things out of the doctrine. Right? So you don't even believe anymore, man. We nigga, we knew. Nigga, you were paid off, man. But that whole thing is just spiritual. We just read it. Yeah. From the debut chapter, who he is, the white hair, the red eye, all that. Like the brother read, the inspiration. And like you said, that amount, that fucking Ammonite, he don't know what the fuck going on. He don't, they don't know He's just, you're just a tool, man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? 
The men of the Lord know what it is. What you got? It's not good. Psalms 82 verse 6. Hey, I have, hey, let me, I'm going to look up the world government in uh, one piece. Yeah, nah, the world government is corrupt as hell in that show. They're, they're probably Amalekites too. Let me look at yeah, the best. They like Amalekites. Psalms 82 and 6. I have said ye are gods and all of you are children of the Most High. And worthy for children in Hebrew is They look like Amalekites, right? Yeah, they look like Amalekites. Yep. You see them? Yeah, come on. Yo, you see, you got the you can eye solve, you can just see through everything, yeah. man. Yeah. All right, that's the world government, man. That's the same thing today. Yeah. Right? He declared war with the world government. He's he's he, his bounty is high. And he's he's so he's a so-called uh, he's a Asherite, right? Yeah, he's, he's from um Brazil. Brazil. See, he's from the tribe of Asher, goofy man. Gear five to here is going to like no, nah, he's Jake. He's Jake. He's an Israelite, man. You see, we're fucking they're fucking Amalekites, man. The scriptures going to matter of fact, um, it's like a, like a read through the spirit. We are gods. You know what I'm saying? So the the, uh, the Israelites, so called blacks, Latino and Americans, we are gods. We're gonna die like men. But guess what? Moses have put us back into a godlike status very soon. He will give us that power. It started, it started. It started with the change. truth. It started with the truth. Let's get Joel three and three. Yahushua, and we talk early. about the most ancient of texts. They know your records. Yep. Yeah, your records in the Vatican. They know what you did in the Byzantine Empire. They know what you did to them. They know what your forefathers, King David, uh, 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 Judas Maccabees. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, the, the apostles, Yahweh Shai. They understand. They know who you are, man. All the King Arthur's and the Robin Hoods, the things that we were doing. They, they but they hit all that. And and you, Jake's only know about it because the spirit was in the apostles and the, the men back then to dig up. And the spirit was on them, and they brought these things out. How you ruled during the dark ages. All of that stuff was hidden, man. How Jake was, uh, the, the Hellenized Jews was the one that made the Greeks great. How Beethoven. Yeah, yeah, yeah Beethoven, all Mozart. of that. Mozart. You know, okay. Because the Apostle Hall, he brought that out in the, in the, the show. What was the show called again? Surely. Yeah, sure. yeah. Surely, the, everybody laughed at him. But now it's now it Wiley. Now it's Nali Wiley. They say he was mixed with black. Nigga, get the... The apostles been bring. They remember they now saying Septimius Severus was black. The apostles brought that out back in the eighties, man. Okay. All right. A lot of the the Caesars after uh, Domitian were Jake, man. Jake took over, man. Just like everything, man. Mayweather said that when MMA first started kicking off, he said um they they only created that because uh, white people was in dominate boxing. But guess what? Jake took over MMA, man. Jake, and, and then he just took it over. John Jones. Yeah. Anderson Silva. Uh, yeah. That, just like Jake. Sonia's. Just like Jake. And, and, and everything. I said they don't want Jake and hockey like that, man. Because if a whole bunch of Jake start getting hockey, eventually they're just going to take it over, man. Yeah. I believe mean, Jake invented hockey as well. Yeah. I think it was Jake. I can't remember what yeah. tribe or whatever, but Jake is the form of all things. Uh, all right. What you got? So this is. Joel chapter 3 verse 3 it says and they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for the harlot and so they girl for wine that they might drink it says yea and what have ye to do with me O Tyre and Zidon and all the coast of Palestine even a DBZ with Frieza the devil that's Esau Esau and he, he was he, feminine yeah and he killed off all most of the saints I think he doesn't have a gender yeah and that's, that's, that's yeah Esau Baphomet yeah, yeah. Same Baphomet demon, man. And he did it because yeah. he was afraid of yeah. the rising he, up. He heard, he, heard about he heard about the Super Saiyan uh, legend. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was a legend. Which was, um, yeah. ultimately, that, that was um, Goku's father. Who yeah. went back in time and turned into a Super Saiyan back then. So that sparked that legend into the future. You know what I'm saying? So that's why he destroyed the whole planet. But he didn't know about uh, Goku. Goli. He didn't know about yeah. Goku. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He kept Vegeta for himself. I'm keep the, the, the prince, yeah, though. Hellenize him, yeah. yeah. Hellenize him. Vegeta yeah. had that yeah. pride in him. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. He, 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 yeah he, he hid his true intentions, yeah. 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 And Goku was coming, he was supposed to come to Earth and conquer it, but you yeah. know, he hit his head on the rock. The whole head is sick. Jake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jake, though, you know? This is And, uh, this, and this you, could just, hours, you could just tell the whole monkey. Um, yeah. The uh, the, uh, the, the tail, the, tail, the yeah. monkey. Yeah. And Frieza used to call them that. Stupid monkeys, yeah. Yeah, the warrior race, yeah. 
And uh, you're right. The way Frieza said monkeys, he said, yeah. I keep saying she is a matter of feminine. Yeah. He said it real racist. Yeah, it was racist. He said, yeah. He comes, oh, you monkeys. Dumb monkeys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well. See? And who, who, whoop, who whooped that ass, man? Goku. You know? He turned Super Saiyan and beat the fuck out of Frieza, man. But he still was merciful. You see? Goku, that's the thing. Like, Goku was mad merciful. You know? Vegeta, if he had that power first, he would just kill Frieza. Vegeta got like, uh, he got, uh, what's the word? Pacified for, for lack of better words. Surely on down in the shows. But ultimately, that represents Israelites, man. That's it. And yeah, what happened? So like, they, they, they achieved Super Saiyan God. Yes. That's the new bodies we're going to yeah. get. They became gods. Yeah. Ultra Instinct. You know, to be able to do things. And then, like, going back to Luffy, that power is just so inspired. Even Gohan new form, remember? The yeah. white hair? Yeah. yeah, and the red eyes. Yeah. yeah. That's us. That's why I resonate with Jake's spirit the most. You know, Jake is all into the, uh, the different TV shows and, and, and also the Marvel comics and all those things, man. That power, you know, because a lot of it was um, created based off our history, man. Well, we, they brought, we brought out their history on uh, Wolverine. Uh, Wolverine and now, uh, um, uh, uh, the, 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 the relationship between Malcolm X and, and Martin Luther yeah. King. The guy who made X Men said that's sure. what he got the inspiration from. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, Martin Luther King was supposed to be Professor X, and Malcolm X was um, um, Magneto. Ma Magneto. He, imagine that. He said he came out and said, "Yeah, I was looking at the dive relationship between those two, and he were the mutants, Jake. That wasn't yeah. accepted. It wasn't accepted. But they were the chosen, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So, like we said, uh, the, uh, we talk about the world government. These nations, they know the history, man. They just, they just hope that you don't um, recognize who you are, man." That's why they made the pack in Psalms 83. Let's right. cut them off from being a nation. At the name of Israel, we no more remembrance, man. But there's always a glitch. There's always a glitch. Right? And the glitch is the elect. The, the glitch is the Rakakwadash. Because they like, because they can't get, they still can't figure it out. Because you don't learn this in school. You can't learn this in school. You can't learn this in no university. You can't learn it, man. All right? But the Most High put the spirit on chosen men, chosen vessels, to bring those secrets out. Uh, we talked about that the whole Simeon Toko, oh. they were scared to death about him. Yeah. That's what we said in the 1960s. They was just chopping niggas' heads off, man. Because they were worried. Is it Martin Luther? Is it Malcolm? Is it Fred Hampton? Uh, we got everybody out the way, so we can actually sit down and rest. But that whole time, Albert Bims was right, right up there in all Building, man. Building, man. Prepared the way, man. Okay? laid the foundation down and hey you got the brothers and the different carpenters today doing the work and it's too much of us all right so now he just got to come with a slander campaign and just come after everybody man even his own people he gonna come after the script says he's gonna be a madman sparing none he gonna kill his own goddamn p he don't give a shit man all right what you got i had this earlier but i didn't finish it off isaiah chapter 41 verse 17 it says when the poor and needy seek water and there is none and their tongue faileth for thirst. I, the Lord, will hear them. The God of Israel will not forsake them. The poor and needy is what we, we said earlier. That's Jake. All right. So verse 18, it says, I will open up rivers in high places. That's us out here in these streets. Uh, right. That's us out here in these streets, man. The main ministry is always outside. All right, go ahead. I will open up rivers in high places and fountains in the midst of valleys. The Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. All right, and what's that valley? Uh, uh, King David said, "What the valley, valley of shadow, shadow of death. death?" That's right here. Right. See, and he that believeth in me, as the Scripture said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So that's the truth behind the Bible. It's being poured out in America, Babylon, the Great. So it says, "And I will open rivers and high places and fountains in the midst of the, the valleys. I will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry land springs of water." In the wilderness, what's wilderness? So you said that's Babylon, the Great. God. This is that wilderness. That's also Revelation 12. The woman ran down to the wilderness. That's that's here. All right? Fleeing from the face of the serpent. We're in the wilderness right now. All right? But he opened the rivers and gave us the water, living waters in this dry and thirsty land. All right, go ahead. Verse 19. I will plant in the wilderness the cedar, the shittah tree, and the myrtle, and the oil tree. Yeah, like we said, those trees don't grow in the wilderness. So that's what? A miracle. That's a miracle. 
the root of different trees. That's the brothers in this truth. Some brothers are cedar trees, some brothers are myrtle trees, some brothers different trees, man. In the wilderness, he's planting that right here. That's that's the rose coming out of the concrete. Yep, that's a miracle. See, an elite can't understand that because why? It's a rakaka dash. You could wipe out the leaders. You could change the textbooks and uh, uh, set up these these uh, fake ass colleges, man, and give us um, um, the Alice Sharptons and these these uh, the, the um, these influencers today and these fucking rat niggas, man. The floor, I didn't know. Yeah. Putting fluoride in water, putting all sorts of injections in children, man. Putting all sorts of high estrogen in the, the food. Okay? All that shit he did, man. He no different than his, his forefathers, Herod. They're trying to cut off, um, because they knew the Mashiach was coming, man. Kill off the male children, man. Right? But the elect was hidden, man. Right? He did everything he could. Then he gave Jake crack in the 80s. First heroin, then he gave them crack. You had a whole generation called what? Crack, crack babies. Yeah. That was all to cut. And that was all targeted towards who? You. Uh -huh. All right. You had white people that was on cocaine. It's the rich people drug, but then they gave crack in the ghetto. All right. And where did they get that from, man? Come to find out, it's no, it was a well known fact now. That's what that show Snowfall going to do. It was the CIA that was bringing all that into Jake neighborhood, man. And of course, they had stupid niggas selling that poison to their own people, man. Cause he was chasing a bag, man. He said that too. The cop told him. Remember all this? Uh, the cop. He asked him like he he drove him to look at the crack house. And he saw people bugged out, people leaving their kids and shit. You know, and he was like, "How do you how do you feel about all this?" He, he said, "How do you see back now?" He said, "I'm like a baby." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's a he demon. Full, full demon. Mode. He smiled. He said, I'm "Like a baby," because he's making money. You know what I'm saying? But that's that's wickedness, man. Look, you do it to your people, man. You don't love your people. And he ended up, up the same way, right? A drunkie in the end. Huh? He became, no, he became oh, yeah. a, a, dr a, a drunkard, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. alcoholic and poor and broke. He lost everything, man, because he was covetous, man. Yeah. And, it's, and the same thing happened with the real Ricky Ross. He got locked up. See? He took the hit. Where was the CIA agent that gave him all that damn money? Nigga vanished, man. Huh? Gone. Gone. The whole Oliver North scandal. Right? That was all targeted towards Jake. Huh? Right? So man, they, they, this is it's not a, a conspiracy. They have this, they have the undying hatred for you, man. You think after slavery they would leave you alone? This motherfucker, he just he's still coming after you. But he's doing things on a higher level now. Right? He don't gotta put chains around your neck anymore. He got these niggas' minds. Right? He got you, he has your mind already. All right? Like we talk about these uh, sports niggas, these weak ass niggas, man. Yeah, they might be physically strong, but them niggas are mentally weak, man. They're weak. We see it now. They don't have a voice or a backbone, man. I sure already has their mind already. They are some bitch ass niggas. Yeah. But you go into the whole Willie Willie Lynch theory. He said what? Keep the slave physically strong but mentally weak. He said that. Keep him strong. Keep him a buck. But keep him mentally weak, man. And that's exactly what I sure did. But not the prophets. This, that's why this thing is not based on physical might, man. Mm. That's when we came with his juice. The men of the law would say, get the fuck up out of here. We're not taking that, man. Period, man. Come. All right. And the most high, the scripture says, let's get a circuit 427. Wait, wait, see that? Yeah. And this thing ain't based off physical might, man. Oh. And strength, man. Because we see it today. Them niggas, like we said, they, uh, uh them niggas, uh, Oh, they, they, like we said, they physically strong, but they mentally weak, man. Weak. Teddy Cruz. Teddy Cruz ass niggas. Weak as shit, man. No muscle, no brain. Shaq ass. Damn big yeah, coon, yeah. man. Charles Barkley. Yeah, showing his mate. Look, look at his Masonic ring I, I got here. You know? Just a wicked ass nigga, man. And a woman read the thing. Uh, the BCI. This nigga took that big ass nigga, man. This nigga, you should be ashamed of yourself, man. Shaq should be in I ISUPK, man. I can see Shaq in ISUPK. ISUPK with the big stick. Read! Boom! You know, you know, another member used <laughs> huh? to be in NBA. <laughs> yeah. IUIC? Oh. Um, the one that's here, the fucking demon. The one that, um, I think it's the one that went, um, that sent something to, um, the elder, uh, Kazaki Allah, Mississippi. 
Yeah. You know, he used to be in the NBA. He's tall. Yeah. You know, he even seen his eyes. He a demon. Yeah. <laughs> See, Jack said, "Hey, the big sticks, yeah. Waves and shit. Hell yeah, waves. hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. Like you, he, then you belong in ISU BK, man. Yeah. 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 You got? It? You said seven like forty. Um, you said what? I think forty-two and seven. I don't think that's the one. You said forty-two and seven. What are we talking about? Sirac 40 something. You quoted Sirac 40 something. Mm. Yeah, no. yeah. It'll come back. It'll come back. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Levitation 322. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed be, uh, consumed because his compassions fail not. See, it's the most high mercy that we got this truth, man. That we not consumed. You know, like brother, he, he did a whole list down. Crack epidemic. The gangster rap. Drill music. All type of things, catered, abortion, all that catered to kill you niggas, man. Uh, Hispanics. But guess what? The most I had a remnant, man. You see that? It's of the Lord's mercy. We ain't consumed, man. If Esau, if the Lord wasn't dealing with Jake no more, we all would be through. We'd have been done. We'd have been finished. Esau would have got the victory. Because he came with different devices. Yeah. Different That's devices. That's what Esau, yeah. even Esau was scratching his head. Like, how the fuck they still here? And how did they got this knowledge? Like, how did they learn this? And how did they, you know? He's so mad as hell, man. Yeah, he just he just won drones. Yeah. And like the most I didn't keep a remnant. Let's get that. Isaiah the uh, first get chapter. That to the spirit. I was looking for that one. I got, well. um, I got Romans 11. It would have been like Sodom, the scripture says. Destroy. I, I could finish this off in Isaiah 41. Though, right? Go on, go on. So Isaiah 41 and 19 and 20 says, I will. Oh, no, Sirach 427. Oh, oh, that's 427. Yeah. Salakia. That's not that's a 42 and 7. But what, 42 and 7? 4 and 27? Is like, my mind, you know? I knew it was a four. Yeah, I knew it was a four. I knew it was a seven in there too. Yeah. And I knew it was a two in there. I just got it all mixed up. It's a lot, yeah. You know? And that's the spirit he quoted this quote. It's the same rap, man. Yeah, he keep coming back. Yeah. Well, they, they, they gotta have a name to that rap. Oh, the type he's of not. He's not as big as the regular rat, but he's, he's not a, the, the train rat. He's, he's, he's not as small as a mice either. Yeah, he's like an outside. He's a field rat. Yeah. And he like he like a brownish color too. Next to the boost, they be over there eating their food sometimes. He like a field rat or something like that. Not the grimy looking ones in the suburbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are the grimy. Those are the 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 rough big niggas. Yeah, yeah. You know the SpongeBob. Remember, remember that place where only the tough dudes came. Yeah. Oh, Southern Lagoon or some shit. You know. That is. Yeah. I can finish this out real quick though. So Isaiah, because the brother made a point that it's the Heavenly Father's mercy that we got this truth. So Isaiah 41 and 19 and 20, it says, I will plant in the wilderness the cedar, the shittar the tree, and the myrtle, and the oil tree, and I will set in the desert the fir tree, and the pine, and the box tree together, that they may see and know and consider and understand together that the hand of the Lord have done this, the Holy One of Israel have created it. The hand of the Lord, I did this. That's why none of us can boast. God. We can't, because he said I did it. He was, we weren't. We were just we were born in this corrupt society. We, we were all following the wave of the world, man. Yep. What's for the most side, brother? Sabi still in that Christmas shit. And all man of evil, getting ready for New Year's, just wickedness, man. Uh, that's why I said if it, if it was possible, the, the very elect shall be deceived. Yeah, like he, he can't. This, this devil would have been. We'd have been lost, yeah. man. Finish. There's too many enchantments. Yeah. Way too many. Yeah. It's death on every side. Yeah. God knows what you would have been into the most side and pull your ass out. God. Instead of doing the work, brother, what's the word for today? Let's go, you know, go out. Let's go with a with a whole sack. <laughs> you know, with a with a, with a bad guy. How you get it? Or the industry. Yup, yeah, the industry. Yup, yup. Or a damn, yeah. or a, damn a coon Jake. Coon, yeah, yeah. You know, in a private jet with Esau. You know, business trip. Yup, yeah, yeah. Clinging wine glasses yeah, with yeah, the devil. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Damn bug out, man. It's bugged yeah. out our mind, man. Yeah. But we're grateful, that, and and, and it's. It's heavy. We we where we supposed to be, man. The niggas in the world, they let them do that, man. It's a lot of jakes that even when you went to high school with, them niggas they they getting money, but they stay wicked. All right, they scamming, they fucking stealing and robbing niggas, man. They demons, and they seem and they, and they seem like they prospering. You know, when I come to mind, this nigga uh, uh, Brian. You know, that nigga he taking pictures, he in clubs, mad money, all type of shit. They think he rap? Yeah, he a demon. You know, I never really like that nigga, man. A lot of that should be a facade, too. A lot of be fake, you know? They have number ones and then have uh, hundreds on, yeah, on yeah. each side they try to stack. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You niggas is fake, man. They try to portray a certain image. Yup. 
It really deep, is. It's, it's, and, it's and, and, yeah. and deep down, they find cases, man. They getting ready to get locked up. They on the run. It's some, it's some other jakes I went to high school with in my other school that they on the run right now. You know what I'm saying? They they get caught, they done. Because they, they, they stole mad money scams from people, man. They they credit they have they have zero on the credit score. You know, they 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 robbed themselves, they robbed other people. But on like like your brother said, if you look at it from like the outside, looking at the pictures, whatever the case may be, or you see them walking by, they, they be getting this money, they may oh, be going to that every not the uh the glory of a sinner. Yeah. But you know what this end may be. So we see that, but man, these niggas, we know, could be in the truth, these niggas are done. And that's why the Esau is so crafty. That's why you promote them wicked niggas. Man. Yeah. And you looking at them people caught up in social media. A lot of people be set up by the industry, man. Literally. They be industry, buying followers. Plants. Yeah, the industry plans. Matter of fact, Slocky, if you look at their followers. This nigga been on social media two, three weeks, got a million followers. How? How? Uh, how? Uh, Where uh, it came from? Uh, you know? We'll check it and you know what's crazy? If you look at their followers, if you watch it, some a lot of them are real. Yeah, a lot of them are fake. They be having weird ass oh, names, yeah. no followers, but following one person, no picture, nothing up. Just like bots, robots, AI. You know, following. They got 26 million, like half of that million, all of that is fake. You know, just what was that? Timothy, the third chapter, the first Timothy? Uh, uh, second second Timothy, Timothy, third chapter. Third chapter. That's, these are, you in the last days, man. All these lovers of themselves, boasters, all of that. That's social media for you, man. You know, it's all folly and vanity at the end of the day. It's all vexation of spirit. Okay? People, these niggas ain't winning. These niggas are losing. God. All right, Jake is losing right now, man. Selling out to the devil. They gonna die with the devil, man. We we on the verge of winning. We got the victory. We got the truth. Allah Yahusha said what? Hold that fast with that highs that no man take that crown. We got the victory, man. All we gotta do is endure. That's it. Endure and keep pushing this glorious gospel, man. Keep doing this work. Let's keep right. praying. Keep fasting. Keep studying. Keep doing the videos. That's it. Brotherly love. That's it. Alright? That's what we're supposed to be. Arms. Okay? That's it. Oh, yeah, you read that, sir, 427? Oh, I got it right now. I'd read if it was the Lord's mercy we consume as it yet. Sir, right to the 4, verse 27. Make not thyself an underling to a foolish man, neither accept the person of the mighty. Yeah, no, that's the gospel. You got scripture, you guys, I, U, I, C. But read on, keep reading. Oh, shit, sorry. Yeah, you know. It says, I'm calling you man worship, and that's going to cause you to fall, man. All right? They got caught up into the... Uh, the uh, the reverence of men, man. But the blind lead the blind, they both can fall with. So that's, you know, that's what they call a lot of them guys men for sure, man. Yeah. That man That's why the, the apostles is not big on that whole Nah, man. not at all. So like, they don't want that, man. Because the Lord will jack us up. That's scary. You no? Know? Too much flattery for yourself, you, you know? Nah, 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 man. Don't give me that flattery, man. Yeah. We don't know if we're going to be saved yet. Yeah, but we, we don't know if we're going to make it, man. We have faith. We have hope was what uh, to, be, to expect. Yeah. We're expecting deliverance, you know what I'm saying? But not based on our works. We expect it because at the end of the day, it's ordained. It's the promise. You know what I'm saying? If it's ordained, like, Lord, if you will, the Lord is ordained for you to make it. If not, you know, you got to keep faith. You got faith in Yahweh Shai. Matter of fact, are we in this because Yahweh Shai told me. God said, good master. What did I do then? He said, mm. why callest thou me good? Mm. That's Yahweh Shai. Yeah. He said, why call this thou me good? He said, it's none good but the most high. Mm. That's your Howard Shai that said that, man. Mm. Uh, what you got? That's what's like, that's what Jake, but yo, you good? I'm, yeah. Sometimes I'm like saying, yeah. Like, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> but they ask, are you okay? Are you yeah. straight? You understand? You know what I'm saying? But you good? I'm like, nah, I'm not good, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> none good but the father. They what are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you got you yeah. listen, but it's like, yeah. Sir, right, chapter 4, verse 28. Strive for the truth unto death yeah. and the Lord, Yahweh. Well, I assume you shy, shall fight for deep. There you go. We'll fight for you. Know, we talked about the C-19. You strove for You got to strive. You got to be ready to lay your life down, man. Okay. And the Lord fight for you. So, see? So, the men of the Lord built different, man. He can't give us a bag, man. Nope. What nope. he got to do is put you to death. Yeah. And the Lord going to fight for you. He right? saw no... Scripture says it's gonna, um, they're going to fear the name of the Lord from the West. That's, that's it. So, when he come in with his bullshit... And um, we come with the green. The Lord going to um, um, give that standard, give that standard man. power. Yeah. All right. What you got? Um, Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 9. You see, all day they've been doing all day, man. They're they, they, they they doing something, man. That's probably yeah. not even cloud. You see that little thing? Not even cloud. It's a whole bunch of chemtrails. Better look. All day they've been spraying yeah. it. Yeah. See? See, leaving behind them over there, they're doing it again. Wow, 
the same. They come from the same spot. They going. They like we said. They they, they probably had an argument over that. <laughs> they said, "I don't give a fuck. Just keep doing it. Yeah. Keep spraying it." Yeah. And it show you much of a devil. He live on the he live on the same earth that he live underneath the same heaven. I was about to say, who was flying that shit right now? They probably they idiots. They in there like damn. Oh, and you can't say you don't know what you're doing. You know the exactly. fuck. There's too much information out here, man. Yeah. You know okay. the fuck we're releasing to the to the world, man. I'm sure. You, I, I sure that's that's what the uh, Japanese call a uh, kamikaze. Kamikaze. You talk about the Arabs are jihadists. He's a jihad. That's a jihadist. You, you're, that's suicide because you got to breathe the same air and drink the same water like us. Yeah. And you just don't give a shit, man. All right, but what you got? Con Isaiah one and verse nine. Except. The Lord Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai of hosts, had left unto us a very small remnant. We shall have been as Sodom, and we shall have been like unto Gomorrah. We'd have been destroyed, completely destroyed. Because what did he do to Sodom and Gomorrah? He destroyed it. Huh? So if the Most High didn't a remnant, all Israel would have been done away with. As a nation, it would have been done. Damn. But he left a remnant. Yeah. Most High always leave a remnant. I said, went through in the four ones, what do you got? Right? Throughout each captivity, he always had a remnant. Always. And in this captivity, the last one, he has a remnant. That's right. Right? See? Yeah, it's, so it's all about what? The remnant, man. If we read about Isaiah. I said, what you about it's about to be the same thing. It's spirit, yeah. I just, I just read it. Come, come, you got it, brother. This Romans, Romans chapter eleven, verse four. It says, "But what say if the answer of the Most High unto him? I have reserved to myself seven thousand men, who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Even so, then at this present time also there is a, rem a remnant according to the election of grace. That's still you know, seven thousand, uh, seven thousand men. That's the elect. Okay, seven thousand represent a, a complete." complete number all right so that's what that's what the heavenly father has here today the elect that's not going to bow the image to america babylon the great all right we're um we're like unto um rebels to the society we're against this established government man. we're against the illuminati we're against the new world order right? we're against these things man. see and we're not going to bow the knee all right and the modern day image is what the new world order the roman empire being revised okay we get down with the system. Tell the system. Tell with the mark of the system. All right. Tell with the system itself. You tell with Esau. All right. It's, it's all about worshiping him. Let's get a six this one is two and three. The image and the MOTB is about worshiping him. You accept him as your new God. All you people that took the juice, that's what you took. That's what you told the most high. And th that's now, it I might not be too late for some of you, but most of you it is. Let me just keep it real. Yo, I remember um the uh, uh, uh the Jake, the uh, the Benjamite Jake. <laughs> the Santa suit, you know, he talked about the Vanessa, he talked about the far wide, far foolish, he breaking it down. Oh, that Jake was in the spirit, spirit, man. Yeah. That spirit. old Benjamin Jake? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. at the end of the day, that, that Tom, back in 2021, it was most I joined a line right there, man. Who you gonna trust? You see, because they, they came down hard, but they didn't come down too, too crazy, like your life was on the line. Yeah, when people heard their job was at stake, they couldn't believe what we were seeing. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. You had Jake out here. I seen the firefighter article. Um, uh, uh, that firefighter who's now suing the city. Mm. We were out here teaching when they were protesting in the city. I never remember. Mm. That was like December 2021. Remember, they only did it for a couple of months. Blasio said that everybody. And those were union jobs. They got strong unions. Firefighter, sanitation. Um, they, they had to take it. Matter of fact, look it up. Firefighter, NYC suing for, for Vanessa. Those are union jobs, and they still had to take it. So you can't put your trust in that union shit either, man. You gotta put your trust in the Lord, man. Oh, you got those are the jobs that you be saying. Those, those are the jobs that Jay Covey, because they talk about the strong union and this, and you can't get fired and blah blah blah. But what came for that juice, motherfuckers said, we give a fuck about none of that. You gonna take it or you gonna lose your job? Period. So he's not trying to lose no firefighter job. That's a top paying job. After a while, they get paid six figures. You know? And they families taken care of and all of that whack shit, Yo. man. And he what happened, man? When it, when Tom and that juice came, Blasio put the heat on him, man. Like, you know, Bill Gates paid that motherfucker good because he was acting like a clown. 
So look at this burger. You get this burger for free. Look at this fucking dude. What is wrong with this guy? This that was the mayor of the city. All you gotta do is get the juice and you get a free shake. Yo, man, we were laughing, man. Like the shit was Hollywood, man. It was even a time they was paying people a hundred dollars. They'll pay people a hundred dollars. Some Jake's two hundred. They're giving away tickets for this. Uh, pay your tuition. Lottery tickets for juice. You should have stuck a step back and be like, yo, that don't make no sense, right. man. That doesn't make sense. All right. First, they were trying to bribe you to take it, and then they just brought the hammer down and said, listen, you don't take it, you're going to lose your. Right? But we're going to read that article, though. Con. So, let me start. This article came out November 25th, 2023. It says, um, Fire Department New York veteran says heart damage from required C max forced early retirement. All right, if you don't know what C max means, come on. Yeah, yeah, you, you, have, you haven't been tuning in. Yeah, so you haven't been tuning in. We can't bring you up to speed. Yeah, so, you know, you must know. It says, yeah. um, and F, suck it. A fire department New York, a New York City fire firefighter says he was forced to retire on half his salary after the city mandated the C Uno Nueve Maxine left him with permanent heart damage. O'Brien and like we said, the FDNY fighter for they have the strongest union out of those city jobs. They're the top. Them in sanitation, they got top unions, man. But Jake always boasting that you got to get that job with the union and the benefits. But when the the, the the juice came, how come your fucking union didn't fight for you, man? That's why you can't put your trust in them. You got to put your trust in the most high, man. Right. All right. Let's read on. Read it on. It says, O'Brien on um, Pastrina now wants a judge to award him a more lucrative disability pension. Now this nigga disabled, man. It's crazy shit. Read on. Which would pay three quarters of his final salary tax free, according to court papers. Pastrina, 37, got the, the JAB, the juice, in October 2021. Yeah, see, it was that same time. I yes, said we we were out here teaching because yeah. we remember that time they were um they were protesting. Yeah. I remember that day we said it. We were down here somewhere and we said, "Yo, they're protesting today." We remember they had a big protest. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they were all protesting, and guess what? They still took it any damn way because uh -huh. Blazer brought down a hammer saying, "Yo, listen, if you take it, oh, you're gonna find yourself another career. That's it." And he didn't even they didn't even do it for long. Literally. Remember, remember that uh, they tried to go through the Supreme Court to, to make it for all 50 states, and then the Supreme Court came out and said it's not it's not constitutional. You can't do that. You can't do that. So the, the Supreme Court, and that was all the Lord anyway, yeah. to shut it down. The Most High just gave you a little preview, mm -hmm. you know. And the devil said, "I." Right. And after he hit the 66 percent, he said, "I right, we we go back to normal." Yeah. You know. So all you people took you just fell for it, man. All right, what you got? Read it on. Salakia so says. Pastrina, 37, got the um, juice in October 2021 because the city required it and had an immediate allergic reaction, including swollen lips, chills, and body aches. That's the first juice. Yeah, a lot of women say they're missing their periods a lot. Yeah. A yeah. lot of women say they're missing their periods, yeah. man. And then those that got the Vanessa, they came and donate blood. They can't be blood donors because they, they, they shit is tainted. Oh, well. See? See? Yeah, you got all kind of clots in you. Read on. It says, despite three trips to the emergency room, he claims he was forced to get the second. Come on, man. You're just a dumbass. You're a dumbass, man. So you caught swollen lips, went to the emergency three times, and you still took the second one? Yeah, nigga, you're just a bug out, man. Yeah, yeah, nigga, 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 near death experience. Hey, go take the. Why? Because he was worried about that goddamn money and benefits, man. So that man, he's crazy, man. The man almost died the first time he took it. This nigga went back and took a second. <laughs> Yo, man, that's crazy, for, man. man. That's a crazy dude, man. That dude is sick, man. Yeah. All right? You're going to drink poison, almost die. And then you're like, you know, I, I would do one for the team, one for my family again. You're What's the point of that when you drop dead, man? Yeah. Who's going to look for your, look to take care of your family now, man? Mm. See, people put their whole stock in their fucking job, man. That's what it is, man. That's what the Lord's shown us. When it comes time to leave all this shit, you got to go, man. All right, what you got? Read it on. He claims he was forced to get the second. Nigga, you weren't forced. 
everybody has a choice, man. Right. Okay, you weren't forced jack shit. Because we were all in that predicament too, man. Mm -hmm. All right? See, but we put out, we, like we said, we rolled the dice on faith. We said, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is your will, man. All right, we rolling with you, and the Most High got us through that. Right. We still eating, we got a job, brother mm -hmm. still got a place to stay. We still alive, brother's healthy, and that's just that. That was that. Brother's was it uncomfortable? Healthy. Was it annoying? Did we lose access to certain yeah, things? Yeah. Do we have to put that ridiculous mask on? Yeah. The elder said, play, play the game. Right? But that was it, man. Those, and listen, going through the, the MOTV, the straight gas, we get close to the kingdom. A lot of pleasures that you have, you're going you're gonna to lose it anyway. Right? Like we talk about your nice home, clean showers, AC, heat, hot water. You're going to lose all of that as we get closer to, as this thing wind down. She says you're going to be a pilgrim. So it's going to get really rough, man. And really uncomfortable, man. That's Acts 14 and um, 22. 22. Through much trial shall we enter the kingdom of the Most High. It's, it's going to happen. Second and seventh chapter, that narrow path, man. Mm -hmm. Straight gate, position of difficulty. It's, it's going to get uncomfortable. Yeah. It's going to get yeah. frustrating. Yeah. But the Most High going to be with us, man. Because mm -hmm. we know we're fighting for what? That penny. That's right. All right? We and, know what we're fighting for. And we know that, yeah, like you said it, we already yeah. know the destination. It's yep. the kingdom. And the hardest walk leads to the greatest destination. Yeah, remember, remember the Mac when they saw the Greeks or the Greeks was doing, they had to flee. So any man willing to keep the laws of the Most High, follow me, man. They had to run in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's the time we coming into right now. Right. They'll bring a cyber attack and crash your bank account. What are you gonna do, man? We gotta trust in the Lord, man. Yeah. A lot of people out here, all people, they gonna take, they gonna take it. Yeah, Even people that know not to say they gonna take us, they they are not willing to lay their life down, man. Yeah. All right, what you got? We don't know, and it says um, he claims he was forced to get the second. No, you are a jackass. You ain't forced. <laughs> yeah, you ain't forced to do anything. <laughs> like they said, fool forced. me <laughs> once, shame on me. All right, they they, they did it to you a second time. That's that's all. That's on you. Because out God. of his own mouth, he said he went to the emergency room three, three times. times before taking the second one. And you had swollen lips, and you know what it is. You know what the culprit is. So why did you take the second one? I remember Jake told me. You know, I haven't seen this Jake in a minute either. On my job, he said he took it and um, he was getting like pus coming out of his hands. I think his legs, his feet, some shit. He said, he said he, he <laughs> cause you know how Jake is, right? Some Jake on my job kept seeing him tearing. He always tearing, always. And I'm thinking it's something up with him. I was, I don't know, maybe it's cold and he's tearing. But he said that happened as a side effect of taking the juice. You know, he said that he felt like he had some, he thought he had like, the, the disease because um, there's to be pee, the burn, all type of crazy stuff. So he was in the hospital for it. And Jake was like, but why are you always crying, man? You always crying, nigga. He said, bro, I'm not crying, bro. He said, I think that, I said, oh, you took the shit? Damn, son. Like, bro. Then I started backing up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I asked him, I asked him, like, yo, that's what you, you started getting that after you took the thing? He was like, yeah. And, I, and he said, I took it to get to keep my job. I said, why are you here? <laughs> I said, why are you here then? It wasn't this job, it was another one. I said, why are you here then? He said, you know, I just, I, I was like, bro, you took it for no reason then, bro. You took it to keep that job and left that job. Remember the Jake security guard on me? Yo, the day, that was hilarious. The brother wasn't there. That was so, yo, he was, his eyes was going up in the sky. He's like, oh, man, I, you know, man, they want me to take this thing. <laughs> <laughs> the brother's looking at him like, yo, bro, we showed you the effects oh, was going to oh, happen man, if you, if you take it. We showed him the utopia clip that day, man. Yeah. He said, brother, well, have faith and get another job. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. He's like, yo, they forced me to take, man, I don't know what to do, man, a job. He's still acting like he had a job in the White House, man. <laughs> like he's secret service or something, man. Yeah. It's a regular job, bro. Yeah. You had that much faith or confidence that so you can't get something else, man. See? But that's the lack of faith. And he came back, I think, like the next week, we got the, I can't remember. He took it. He said, I took it. And he just looked different. He looked different. Look skinnier, yes, weak, yeah. his countenance, yeah. everything changed. Mm -hmm. Just man, and we, we haven't seen him. We haven't seen like, him like that. Yeah. So he, he probably he probably be going to the hospital. He probably be calling out. I can't make it because I'm fucked up. <laughs> that thing was no. That thing ain't no joke, man. That juice thing. They were pumping people. I never heard of a juice that put. We had people all took, took the flu, this that. You never heard these effects. Yeah, no. Nah, that C19 was different. That was a whole yeah. other ball game, man. Yeah, that was sinister. Yeah, it was sinister. And Fauci and Gates and these guys were behind it, man. And that thing was due to one thing and one thing alone, man. All right? And we brought it out through the spirit, man. And Aisha showed you the same year what, what it was going to do to you, man. Right there in your face, man. And that was a popular show. A lot of people saw Utopia. A lot. Mr. Rabbit and his ultimate goal. All right? Oh, well. What you got? Read it on. It says, 
he claims he was forced to get the second um, shot a month later. He said this, I thought I was going to die after that second dose. Castrina told the Post, adding he was again rushed to the ER after the second shot. <laughs> Sniggy. Oh, man, you love you love pain. You love putting yourself through pain, man. That's a sneaky, you know, that's definitely an Edomite. That's a sick man. Very sick man. You're a gluttony for punishment. You like to be punished, man. That's what it is. All right, go ahead. By February 2022, the married father of two was diagnosed with myocarditis, which results in potentially fatal infl inflammation of the cardiac muscle and was nearly and was nearly in heart failure, court records show. Okay, weakened his heart. It's weakened his heart. And that's the most important organ in your body. The body can survive, like they say, without the brain, but it can't survive without the, uh, the heart. Oh, the people that's in a vegetable state, their brain is, is down, yeah, yeah, yeah. but their heart is still, oh, still pumping. Once your heart stopped, that's it. You're gone. Oh well, let's read on. The heart condition is a rare side effect of the, the Vanessa. Rare side effect? Listen to the devil. Who wrote down? You're the devil too, man. That's not no rare side effect, man. Okay, that's what happened to all kind of people, man. Look how much athletes was dropping on the damn field. We did videos on that too, man. No, look at this. this, this right? Oh, what's this nigga name? Bronny James? He, a young man like that, 18, still had a heart attack. I, I wonder why. All right? What you got? Slacky, uh, it says the heart condition is a rare side effect of the Vanessa. There ain't no rare side effect, man. That's a side effect, man. Yeah. All right, because there's a lot of people, even this week, an actor died, another actor died, a singer just passed on, died on stage. Why? Why is this happening? When do you ever hear young people just dropping dead all of a sudden? Remember the, um, the MMA, 18 year old? Yep, yep, 18 year old. Uh, I think a Moabite or something like that. Or yeah. oh, Asher, um, uh, Jaffite. I asked drop. She was supposed to be a so-called prodigy in MMA. I asked drop dead, man. 18 years old, man. Mm. Trusting in the serpent, man. Mm. See, 18, man. You got all sorts of athletes, all of the football play on the field, man. All of this shit, man. Okay, Bronny James, Jamie Foxx, dumbass. Okay. The nigga still can't um get itself right, man. They say he had to... The movie that he was working on just now, but he had to cancel that too. He can't do it. Come back taking it. Do the movie yeah. role now, you can't do it. He can't do it. He was fucked up for a long time. And it was showing all these different body doubles. People was like, that's not this guy, man. All right? Then he had to come out and say he nearly died, blah, blah, blah. They tried to do this other movie and he had to quit it. He can't do it. All right? Mm. And like we said, we don't understand how you celebrity niggas. With all these rituals and all these Met Galas and all these fraternities, nobody gave you a heads up, man. So what was the point of all that shit, man? What was the point, man? All right? Christians took it. A lot of you Christians took it. All right? Muslims took it. A lot of you all took it, too. But I remember seeing the videos. People were asking their, um, their imam, should they take it? And they were making all sorts of fucking excuses to take it, too. Because why? There is no faith in Islam. Islam is a carnal religion. All right? That's what they believe in jihad and all that stupid shit, man. And getting wiped out by the IDF, man. All right? This thing is not, it's not carnal. It's spiritual, man. You see? What you got? It's a little more in order. And he's a Jake, too. It's cool. Oh, he a Jake? Nah, he a tear, bro. You a tear. <laughs> yeah, he got to be a tear. That's how you look. Yeah, he might be a fucking tear. He might be a tear. Yeah, he looks like a little tongue. That'd be a damn tear, man. It's finished. Might go back to um, Jeff, Jeffrey, Jeff Madison, one of them niggas, man. Cause you're a, you're a damn buffoon, man. And if you are Jake, you a damn fool anyway. Knowing our people' history on the T Tuskegee experiment and and the whole just knowing this devil, period, man. Look, like leaving today. Look all of this. Look, we've been standing here all day. Look at that. Just more and more chemtrail all day. All right. We know what that is, man. Like, he's not stopping. He's been doing on the clock. All right? What is this guy, What is this man doing, man? All right? That's why the scripture says, if it wasn't for the Most High's mercy, we would have been consumed already. It's only his mercy without we even going, man. All right? What you got? So if he's doing that to the air, what he doing to the food? This man doing all manner evil, man. All right? What you got? Pastrina was then told he could never be a firefighter again 
and forced to retire in March after over a decade on the job. Uh, oh, well. And he, that guy was a clown because he almost died the first time. He's going to take a second one. I mean, I don't even know what to say to a man like that. I have no clue what to tell you, man. Reset. And if they what? If they tell you to take a boost, you gonna take it to you, dummy man? Are you begging the judge for more money? The judge should be like, yo, listen. After you got hurt the first time, what fuck? Why would you take the second one, man? What what sense does that make, man? You know it was bad for you. He said immediately he had a side effect. Immediately, lip swollen. You know, barely the three type of other shit going on. And you know, he told us he must he must have told the people on his job that we know for a fact. He must have told the FDNY, yo, listen, I took this thing. I have negative side effects. I can't take the second one. His job said, well, you want to keep your job? You got to take the second one. That's now, where was, there. now we all talk about their union. Where was it? Your union has supposed to have come in on that, that, um, coming on your behalf. Say, yo, listen, my guy said he got sick the first time. Yo, he has adverse side effects. He's allergic to it. You got to give an exemption. But where was your union? That's why we told you, you can't put your trust in those things, man. All right, what you got? A little more. It says, um. Uh, right here, I'm jumping down to the point. It says it left him feeling alienated from the so-called brotherhood. You realize that you are just a number and a name on a piece of paper. He added, like so you said, through the spirit, like they don't care. Well, ultimately, they don't care about you, bro. Of course, they don't care about you. And when they, you get sick and die, they're gonna open up exam the five FDNY and just get more no people to fill your spot. Right. And just probably give you a plank on some fucking wall, and that's it. A corruptible crown, right? See, they, they're supposed to be sympathetic. Show some sort of empathy. All right? Because you almost died, man. But they told you for some job to take the second one, man. Sorry, like maybe this one right here? That's what you read about being what? Covetous, man. Right. He did because he, his job is a good paying job and you get benefits. But where's the benefits if you're dead? Right? Even King David said, who can praise you in the grave? Didn't say the scripture in Ecclesiastes are, um, is better than a lion. Um, uh, a, a dog is... Um, oh, a dead. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. A dead, a dead. Yeah, Ecclesiastes 9 and 4. Mm -hmm. It says, for to him that is joined to all the living, there is hope. For a living dog is better than a dead lion. There you go, man. Right. Solomon said a lion is ferocious above all beasts. Oh. Uh, what's that in Proverbs? Let me read this one right here. Mm -hmm. Quick paragraph. He said the city Get held... Proverbs 30 and 30 and then read that. Proverbs 30 and 30. Proverbs 30 and 30. And then read about the end. Yeah, his, uh, his, his wisdom saved the city. Oh. oh. See, the poor man's wisdom is despised, man. But guess what? The wisdom that we were giving you was, was going to save your ass, man. As you listen to the prophets, you won't be in that situation, man. And the brother read the article, you would have got back pay too. If you just showed a little bit of patience. All right? But patience is not taught in this society, man. Patience is a virtue. Because patience is suffering. Yeah. They don't you, want to suffer. They you would have suffered for a little bit. A little couple. Of, it would have been uncomfortable in your family. But you would have got everything back what you lost. Because one of the paragraphs, he literally said they, they made him, they held over his head feeding your family or taking the shot that he didn't want to take oh uh, well so, you, you can't feed your family if you're dead like we said <laughs> all right what you got this is proverbs and that's the same reason why a lot of you going to take the motb if you, su if you survive them to that point all right you want to see chaos all around you and the little comfort you have is get tagged all right so, so you get some sound of normalcy again and that's the most i gonna get you man well anyway let's read on proverbs at the 30 verse 30 a lion which is strongest among beasts and turneth not away from any. Yeah, a lion, but the scripture says what? Well, read that now, Ecclesiastes 9 and 4. Ecclesiastes 9 and verse 4. For to him that is joined to all the living, there is hope. For a living dog is better than a dead lion. These little dogs that we see out here is better than a, a dead lion. Even though a lion is mighty, he can't do nothing if he's dead. Okay. Right? So, man. It's about living, man. And above all, living to do this work, man. So he took, he took to, you already almost dropped dead for some shot, man. Look, so what's the point of your job and benefits if you're dead, man? There's no point, man. 
Oh, they need this nonstop today. Yeah. The chemtrails. They put an OT. OT. They've been doing that all day. All day. Right? Like you said, the guys are sprinting. They're reprobates. Man, you got it. That's why, right, man. We need to get up out of here, man. All day's been spraying that, man. I got one. Kind. This is Isaiah. Oh, yeah. Read it where the, the poor man's wisdom is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gun. Ecclesiastes 9 in verse 13. It says, This wisdom have I seen under, under, sorry. This wisdom have I seen also under the sun, and it seemed great unto me. There was a little city, and a few men within it. And there came a great king against it, to, and besieged it, and built great bulwarks against it. Now there was found in it a poor wise man, and he by his wisdom delivered the city. Yet no man remembered that same poor man. There you go. Good. Then said I, wisdom is better than strength. Wisdom is better than strength. We talked about that today. Yeah. How Esau wants you to be strong, but not wise. Yeah, he wants you to be uh, physically strong, but mentally weak. Solomon said that wisdom is better than strength. I get it. It says, nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised. Yeah, like us. We told people not to take it. The apostles and the elders on down. But they look at us. You're just a common man. You guys are bums, blah, blah, blah. What's your net worth? Right? You don't got as much money as me, nigga. You broke. That's what they judge you based off. They don't judge you based off your merit. All right? Or your wisdom. Or, which is what you fear the Lord. They don't judge you based on that. That's what it says, man. Commend and not a man for his beauty, man. See, that's what these women look at. Oh, the nigga got a fat bank account. Oh, he got the chisel physique. That's what these hoes looking at, man. Yeah, but they ain't looking at if he's he's a man of the Most High. Is he fear the Lord? His wisdom, right? Is he gonna be a good father, a responsible husband? They'll get caught up on carnal things, man. All right, what you got? Con, it's a little more, and I got a, a, a more precept for me. It says, um, Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom, this Ecclesiastes 9 and 16, we're on. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised, and his words are not heard. His words are not heard. We, we see that. We saw that. All right. But had, had you listened, that knowledge would have saved you and your family. All right. Had you listened, it, that guy's a Jake. That knowledge would have saved you and your family, man. Now you, are, I'm pretty much almost out of there, man. You got a weakened heart, taking the juice, huh? Yeah, yeah. Prisa? Yeah. Uh, please ask us. Sirach 13 and uh, 23. When a rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue and look what he's saying. They extol it to the clouds. Yeah. But if, like, yeah, like the. Uh, Kyrie and all these guys talking all that shit. Everybody was taking heed to this whole thing, man. Mick Kanye was they were all over the damn news. Yeah. All right, and they knew they knew he was going as hard as us. I get it. It says, um, but if the poor man speak, they say, "What fellow is this?" Yeah, like we just said, they they say you're broke, you're this, you're that. You know that's why these women don't want to get subjection underneath you because they talk about nigga, you broke. Yeah. Got they, no don't, money. they don't yeah. see they don't see that you got power yeah i'm not gonna be no no second wife to you nigga you broke <laughs> right but th if they knew your value in the eyes of the most high uh -huh. like how should i told that damn whore at the well he doesn't get john the fourth chapter he told her what nigga he said well if you know who was talking to you would have got me that water already man you would have got that you'd have been got me that water man save these women here i ain't gonna be a second and third and fourth wife nigga you broke see but if you some uh What's that triple X nigga? <laughs> X, <laughs> some, some X degenerate. That was a degenerate nigga, man. Like, you had to go, man. He goes into all sorts of enchantments and witchcraft yeah. and numerology. That was evil. Frequencies. Before he even blew up, he was doing that evil, shit. Evil nigga, man. But yeah. well, if you were some degenerate tattoos everywhere and X's on his head, six, six. But if you, you, you be a side piece of that nigga, that piece of shit. Or you would want to carry his seed too, man. Damn degenerate, man. She said, desire not a multitude of, of ungodly sons, man. All right? What you got? This is St. John chapter 4 and verse 9. Then said the woman of Samaria unto him, How is how is it that thou being a Jew access to drink of me, which am a woman of Samaria? For the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. Well, they know that we're implants. 
All right, go ahead. Verse 10. Yahweh Shai answered and said unto her, If thou knowest, if thou knewest the gift of the Most High and who it is that saved to thee, give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. Yeah, man. If you knew who was talking to you, man, like, see, but that scripture says, get that first John 3 and 1. They don't know who we are yet. But you're going to find out soon. First John 3 and 1, Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of Yahweh. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. They didn't know him, like Yahweh Shai just told them. All right? They didn't know Yahweh Shai. See, read on. Verse 2, Beloved, now are we the second. Beloved, now are we the sons of Yahweh, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, Yahweh Shai, we shall be like him. We shall see him as he is. Read it, read it one time. Verse 2, 1 John 3 and 2, Beloved, now are we the sons of the Most High, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be, but... It, it appeared yet what we shall be. Sons of the Most High, that's a heavy title, man. That's a heavy, heavy title, man. The Prince of a King, man. Okay? And if you're a Prince of the King, there's all sorts of benefits that come with that, man. Your father's the King, man. All right? That's no light thing, man. Our father's the king of the universe, man. Mm. And only few know his name. Only few even know him. So that's why he had the, the parable of the um, um, uh, Luke the 18th chapter. He hears the cries of the elect. That's why how Shai said, be careful how you offend these little ones. Because why? They, they host the angels appear before the father every day. Right? As soon as the sun said, they give their report, man. See, and the men of the Lord, your prayers have power, man. The Lord hears what you're saying, man. All right? Don't ever think your prayer is not being heard, man. You read the book of Rafa uh, and read the book of Tobit, it tells you that, man. She said both their prayers came before the, 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 um, the Most High, man. Okay? Tobit's wife and uh, um, Tobit's prayer, man. Scripture and the scripture says he's saying Raphael to heal them both. The scripture uh, say what the uh, the prayers of the humble pierced the, the clouds. Pierced the clouds. Mm, this is Sirach to the thirty-five, in verse seventeen. It says, "I'm gonna start verse 16 It says, "He that serveth the Lord shall be accepted with favor, and his prayers shall reach unto the clouds." Heaven. Heavy. What precept you got? The one more. The one more? John 3. Yeah. It says, The prayer of the humble. Oh, Luke 18. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Verse 17, it says, The prayer of the humble pierce of the clouds, and until it come nigh, he would not be, com be, confer be comforted and will not depart to the Most High, shall be behold to judge righteously and, and execute judgment. Man, the Most High hair brother's prayer, man. Read that in the book of Daniel. It tells you that. He said, the minute you went on your fast, your prayer was heard already. Mm. See? That's in Revelation. The, um, the orders, of which are the prayers of the saints. Yup. Yup. So, man, the Lord hear your prayers, man. And we're also praying for you. You're calling now. on. You're calling on prayer. You're not hearing you. Yeah, yeah, no. You guys are being disobedient, man. Following some wicked man. All right, what you got, Luke 18? Luke 18 and 1, and, and he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. So it's always pray and never faint, never get weak or weary. She said not be weary and well-doing. She said in due season we're going to reap. If you faint not, man. The truth is about what? Endurance. Okay? The scripture says it's better to end of the thing than the beginning. Right? It's how you finish, man. Like you said, a lot of men start sprinting. They they learn fast. Powerful speakers, but they couldn't endure. They fell out the race. They like fell out, man. You know, he tripped over a rock and just stayed on the ground. You know? And bro other brothers just ran past him, man. Keep running. Fall, got up, dust himself off, and kept running. Some brothers gonna have to literally crawl crawl across the finish line. Or at least he made it. 
All right, what you got? Read it on. Verse 2, saying, There was in a city a judge which feared not the Most High, neither regarded man. And there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of mine adversary. And he would not for a while. But afterward he said within himself, Though I fear not the Most High, nor regard man, yet because his widow troubleth me, I will avenge her, lest by her continued coming she weary me. And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge saith. He was an unjust judge. He wasn't righteous. He didn't fear the Lord, but eventually gave into her, her cries. All right, go ahead. And shall not the Most High avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? I, He's going to hear you, man. All right? But you got to wait. All right? We all on his timing. You got to wait. It's about waiting, man. You got to wait. The scripture says the men, those righteous men, they didn't receive the promises, but they still had faith. That's the end of Hebrews. If you could get that too. Yeah, it's Hebrews 13, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, it says, these all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them af afar off and were persuaded of them and embraced them and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. There you go. They didn't, they didn't receive the promises. All right. They saw them afar off, but they still believe. We in a time now, we're about to receive it. Okay. okay. We're we about to receive the promises, man. Which is the kingdom, immortality, and power over our enemies. All right? That's what the disciples said. Lord, will I at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? All right? What was the kingdom? When we had a um, from King David and Solomon. King David brought down the enemies and Solomon reigned over everybody. It made them tributaries. Okay? Solomon, a.k.a. Yahweh Shai. And guess what? The temple was built in his time. Now it's all over again. This time in perfection. We're going to get the, the kingdom, an everlasting kingdom. I'll tell you that in the book of Daniel. He's a stone that's going to hit the other, uh, the uh, the image at his feet. And set up his kingdom, which is everlasting. And also the temple is being built again. But it's spiritual. Right? Just like I tell you, First Chronicles 28 1. Let's read that. First Chronicles chapter 20 and verse 1. 28. 28 and verse 1. Salaki. First Chronicles chapter 28 and verse 1. And David assembled all the princes of Israel, the prince of the tribes, and the captains of the companies that ministered to the king by course, and the captains over the thousands, and captains over the hundreds, and the stewards over all the substance. Yeah, he continue on. What was that? Chronicles. First Chronicles 28 verse 1 And David assembled all the princes of Israel The prince of the tribes And the captains of the companies That ministered to the king by course And the captains captains over the thousands And captains over the hundreds And the stewards over all the substance And possession of the king So and he brought the captains, the princes, the stewards The men of control of the estate The businessmen The captains, the princes uh, read on down what goes into the Levites. Con. And of his sons and with the officers, with the mighty men, and with all the valiant men unto Jerusalem. All the mighty men, the valiant men, everybody. Okay. Then David the king stood up upon his feet and said, Hear me, my brethren and my people. As for me, I had in mine heart to build an house of rest for the ark of the covenant of the Lord. Because back then we knew it was a mobile sanctuary that he used to carry with them. Right? But they wanted to make a, a certain place for the temple. And King David was zealous. He wanted to do it. But the most I said, nah, man, too much, too much blood on your hand. So I'm going to leave it for your son. Go ahead. And for the footstool of our power and had made ready for the building. But the most I said unto me, thou shalt not build a house for my name because thou hast been a man of war and hast shed blood. How be it? 
the Lord power of Israel chose me, chose me before all the house of my father to be king over Israel forever. For he hath chosen Judah to be the ruler in the house of Judah, in the house of my father, and among the sons of my father, he liked me to make me king over all Israel. And of all my sons, for the Lord hath he given me many sons, he hath chosen Solomon, my son, to sit upon the throne of the kingdom of the Lord Yahweh over Israel. And he said unto me, Solomon, thy son, he, he shall build my house and my courts, for I have chosen him to be my son, and I will be his father. Moreover, I will establish his kingdom forever, and he be, if he be constant to do my commandments and my judgments as, as at this day. Now therefore in the sight of all Israel, the congregation of the Lord, and the audience of our power, keep and seek for all the commandments of the Lord your power, that ye may possess this good land, and leave for inheritance for your children after, and after you forever. Right? It says, um, and thou, Solomon, my son, know thou the power of thy father, and serve him with the perfect heart and with the will in mind. For the Lord searcheth all hearts, and understandeth all the imaginations of the thoughts. If thou seek him, he will be found of thee. Read but, at the end where he told the Levites help my son. Verse 13. It says, also for the course for the courses of the priests and the Levites, and for all the work of the service of the house of the Lord. And for all the vessels of the service in the house of the Lord, he gave of gold by weight for things of gold, for, for all instruments of all manner of servants, silver also for all instruments of silver by weight, for all instruct instruments of every kind of service. It says, um, sorry, I'll read on. Even the weight for the candlesticks of gold no, and for the lamps what, what of verse gold. What verse it go up to? Is it 30? It goes up to 21. 21? Okay. Is it saying at the end we said help my son Solomon build this house? For the last verse. Okay. Verse 21. And behold, the courses of the priests and the Levites even shall be with thee for all the service of the house of the Matter of fact, like, uh, Yeah, yeah. Right? Even they shall be with thee for all the service of the Most High, service of the house of the Most High. And there, and there shall be with thee for all men of workmanship, every willing, skillful man, for any man of service. Also, the princes and all the people will be holy at thy commandment. All that proof to Solomon. So he gathered the mighty men, the valiant men, the captains, the stewards, the priests. And he said, you'll help my son Solomon build this house. Now, spiritually, we know today that's the one four four. Right, the spiritual temple. Right? Those are the lively stones, anyway, that make up this temple, man. And who was the head charge back then? The temple was built underneath who? Solomon's supervision. David got everything ready, but it was Solomon that had to put the pieces together and build. And like we said today, that's see how it's shot. And all those men are back here today again, gathering. The captains, the rulers, the priests, the porters, the singers, everybody's back in a lot. You had skillful men who built the ark, right? Who built, uh, who made the, the, the garments for Aaron, the priests. Everybody has their own part of position to play. All right? Brothers have different talents and different gifts. See, some brothers are helps. Yeah. Okay? Everybody's here building. All right, like we just did that video on the conferences, everybody's building, man. Mm -hmm. And because it was controversy over this whole temple thing, we know the third temple is the elect, man. Uh -huh. Period. Yeah. Right. We're not building on Christ or Jesus or Yeshua. That foundation is going to fall. You're building on Jesus Christ is going to fall. Right? You're building on Yeshua is going to fall. Man. Building on Cedric Borgia is going to fall, man. When the storm comes, the scripture says fire is going to try every man's work to see what it's made out of. Is it work made out of gold? Is it made out of silver? Is it made out of wood, hay, stubble? If it's not made out of gold or silver, it's going to burn up. It's going to be made manifest, man. See? So the most High is about to put every man under the fire to see if you believe or not. Right? And we see a lot of men today, they don't believe, man. They don't believe, man. That's why Jake said he had a vision, a dream. 
like all camps in the auditorium. And when shit broke out, it was only the elders left. All right? All them other guys scattered. See? But their foundation is on sin. Their salvation is, is built on man. All right, what you got? I got one. This Ephesians, his brother was going into you know, the building, which is now spiritual. I don't know how his brother has a different talent, right? But it's all for the perfecting of the saints, right? So it's Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors. Yeah, you have uh, Christians who say there's no more prophets. Well, what the hell are we reading? In Ephesians, the fourth chapter, man. I was in the prophets and the scriptures go into um Saint John the Revelator prophesying again. It's another one to think about Revelation. I think 18. The death of but they you know they said it happened already. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. they don't know a lot of brothers, some brothers are gonna get beheaded. But how you call it um what are we reading in Ephesians the fourth chapter? What are we reading in the New Testament, man? Some guys are apostles, some guys are prophets, man. Oh. That, the moon looked big over here. Yeah, I, I seen that earlier. Yeah, it's nice. Press it. What, what did Yahweh Shai say? He said, he said, uh, no man can come to me except the Father join him, and I'm gonna raise him up at the last day. You see, so the prophets they haven't they've been they've they been risen up. The prophets are back. Nah. A lot of them was the apostles, man. It's the same man. Okay, it's the same guys, man. Well, first Corinthians 14, 32. Right. All right, the most I don't, he ain't going to be a, a prophet and come back as Michael Jordan. It's not going to happen. The Lord deals with order. All right? We have we have a far greater portion than that nigga. Far greater. You can't even compare us. You can't compare. Us and him. Yeah, he right? wish he had that portion. Yeah. You know, the portion of a prophet. He had a fucked up portion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kobe had a fucked up portion. He had a bad deal. All that money he had and nigga didn't know who he was. That nigga, it was a waste. That was a corruptible crowd. The scripture said the life of a fool is, is um, the scripture says weep not for the dead, man. Mm. For the life of a fool is worse than death. Mm. So while he was alive, he, he, was, he was a fool because he didn't know his power. All right? Our power ain't no fucking dribbling, no basketball, man. Being no entertainer for these devils, man. Get the hell out of here, man. We're supposed to put on this earth to rule these people, man. Right. All right? What you got? This is Ephesians chapter 4 verse 11 And he gave some apostles and some prophets And some evangelists and some pastors and teachers For the perfecting of the saints For the work of the ministry For the edifying of the body of Hamashiach It's about edifying, it's about building Building, edifying means to build up Okay so They've been saying, what are we building? The temple, man And we are, we are we, every brother's a, his own stone And like we said, a chief cornerstone That holds the structure together is a Mashiach. That's why we read in the book of Ezra when they when the, the foundation of the temple was laid, guess what? They rejoiced. rejoiced. Alright? Right? Because you can't build nothing without a foundation, man. You got? Matthew 7, verse 24. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will like a hammer to a wise man would build his house upon a rock. Mm. And the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew. It beat upon that house and it fell not for it was founded upon a rock. Which is him. You gotta you gotta you gotta build upon me. So who's our way out of this? Not the law. Is your how was shy, man. If we push your how was shy, man. Yeah, we teach the law and the commandments. The law ain't your way out of this thing. The law is our way out of this thing, your how was shy would have never came. Right? How, why did Israel keep falling and going to captivity and captivity? Because they kept breaking the contract. What the hell? You, you guys didn't read the scriptures? Had you read the scriptures? You didn't read the scriptures, man. The Babylonian, all the different captivities would have never happened if we kept the law. Nebuchadnezzar would have never came to take us down. The Assyrians would have never took down the northern kingdom. Right? We won't be catching hell and eat the per Persians underneath uh, Cambyses, right? Uh, um, Samurda said uh, the magician, right? Uh, underneath, we were getting destroyed underneath uh, the Greeks, Antiochus Epiphanes, that wicked um, demon. Yeah, that vile, tell you that Daniel 11, that vile person, yeah. that was Antiochus Epiphanes, man. Okay, 
We won't be catching hell underneath him. She would say he persecuted the saints, wore out the saints of the Most High. The Romans would not have been able to destroy us in 70 AD. If you were keeping the laws perfect, you dummies, man. They won't be able to destroy the temple if you were keeping the laws perfect. So obviously we needed something else, man. And that's your Yahweh Shai. The stone with the seven eyes, man. So Yahweh Shai was written through all throughout the scriptures. All right, what you got? I got one real quick. First John chapter 5 and verse 18 in the NLT. It says, we know that the Most High's children do not make a practice of sinning. For the Most High's son holds them securely and the evil one cannot touch them. Mm -hmm. You know, back another brother point, right? We only can build through our Lord Yahweh Shai. Everything is possible. Like the scriptures say, all things are possible with our Lord. Okay? So that, so Yahweh Shai, he holds us securely. So we cannot waver. We're not, we're not gonna fall from this building. We're not gonna stop building. All right, because the house shy is holding us. I was gonna say our, our faith in the house shy. All right, yeah. that's that that foundation. You know that uh -huh. you're standing firm. The foundation keeps you, you know, uh, steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of Yahweh Shai. Uh -huh. See, and this that foundation is leading to what to salvation. All right, leading to a glorious kingdom, but we won't fall short. And that, that's why we, the law, the, the scriptures, sorry, the, uh, the laws, the statutes, commandments, we put in our inner parts. So it's a prophecy of Jeremiah 31 verse 31. You see that? Because we what? We're going to be perfect in the kingdom to, um, of heaven to come, but it's all through your Shai. Get in there, man. He's that foundation. This one is actually. Verse 19, it says, We know that we are children of the Most High and that the world around us is under the control of the evil one. Mm. It says, And we know that the Son of the Most High has come. He has given us understanding so that we can know the true power, the Hawa. All right? It says, and now we live in the fellowship with the true power because we live in fellowship with the Son, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. There you go. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai has given us understanding so that we could correctly build upon his foundation. All right? So that we could be vessels made unto honor. You see? Came to restore that which was lost. Yeah. All right, Scripture also says that uh, he's a bishop of your soul. Mm. He's the captain of our salvation. The anchor to our soul. The anchor to our faith. I think. Yeah, that's in Hebrews, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, I think Hebrews 13 or 12, one of them. Hebrews chapter. 13 and 12 it says wherefore Yahweh I also that he might sanctify the people with his own blood suffering without the gate yeah and he, he also through his blood we can approach the holy of holies again mm. alright because he is the holy he is the ark of the covenant okay and through him we got access to the most high that was the ark of the covenant for alright the most high presence actually um, came between the two cherubims that's only the high priest can go in. He has to do things right, or he, else he'll die, man. That's why Louis Howell shot said, "What no man comes to the Father but by me." Yeah, through him. That's why Philip said, "Show, show us the Father." He said, "What do you, what do you mean? Haven't I been with you this whole time?" He said, "If you've seen me, you've seen the Father." That's right. He looked exactly like the Father, and two, he, he represented the Father on Earth, the Chief right. Ambassador. He was perfect on Earth. Everything the Father wanted him to do, he did it. Okay. Okay. That's like if you train your son up, the scripture said he's like in a vase like unto you. Yeah, if you yeah, if you train him the way right, it's like he's it's, it's like damn, you remind me of your father. Your father was like that. Right? That's exactly how your Howard Shai was, man. Right. So everything he told you came directly from the father, man. Who's the father? Yahweh. Mm. Right? Yeah, that's right. Mm. Alright, the father of spirits, man. Okay. I read this very fast. Alright. It's first Peter chapter two, and we're gonna start at verse uh twenty-four. It says, Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we being dead to sins should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye are healed, ye were healed. For ye were as sheep gone going astray. But are now returned unto the shepherd and bishop of your souls. 
overseer. Overseer. You determine whether you're going to make it or not. That's what it is. Let's get at Mark 838. That was, that was what you wanted on the Hebrews 13. Yeah, the women say captain. It might be Hebrews 12. It's the book of St. Mark, chapter 8, verse 38. It says, Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed. That's the only one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says, Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation. And there's guys who don't want to call on his name. Mm. Uh, you're ashamed. We can see that he was ashamed. As soon as she mentioned it, he was like, oh, titles, titles, all oh, titles. Right, he got irritated. <laughs> you know, he got mad. Like, he got agitated. Because it wasn't part of the uh, the, the script. He's yeah, like, what the like, fuck? He, he's he's going to ask me this question. We about that, yeah. Yeah, we discussed this before the camera started rolling. You know? It's title titles. It's titles. All right. Those all right. are all titles. They trained to say that. But I bet you, you know, tell him to his face, you know, Bishop Nate. You know, his name is not Nate. It's Nathaniel. Get it yeah, straight. Yeah. Yeah, or just saying Nathaniel without Bishop. Yeah, yeah. It's not Nate, it's Bishop Nate. Bishop's the title. Nate is the name. Or oh, it's not Nate, it's Nathaniel Alaga. Whatever he goes by, man. Alright? And they have to get Hebrew names in there, I think. Yeah. yeah. What's more important, the name of uh of Bishop Nathaniel or the name of the father and the son? Think about this, man. You gotta be really sit back and think about these things. Damn, man, I'm putting more respect on this man's name than the father and the son. Yeah, man, more than on Yeah. Such a man fear for only the eyes of men. You see? You scared you're gonna lose your position. You know, you're not gonna be the whole camp no more. You can't be a captain no more. You can't be a captain. Yeah, you like to be reverence. You eat right. my loot, you leave Yep, yeah, yeah. <laughs> The Eve that Bishop gave you, because you know, they be people putting them together. Fuck it. I got the single ladies over here, the single sisters like with the righteous in preschool. Yeah, man. Going to the bishop for a woman. Where is that in the scriptures, man? Uh, right? Or bishop, I wanna get her. Once you get her, you can't get no other woman. She turned out to be a whole demon. And now you're stuck with this whole thing. It has nothing to do with it. has nothing to do with it. We're not marriage counselors. That's that right. has nothing to do with us. Man. That's right. And now you're complaining to the bishop. Bishop, man, she's, she's off, man. You know? That's nothing to do with brothers, man. Our job is to be doing this work. Bishop, she gave They've been told you that. Was it Acts 7 and 1? They have problems in the church? Yeah. I said, listen, this is not. We got to do the work of the Lord, man. Set up other men to handle this situation. No, that's man. right. That's right. Let's read that. Uh, Acts 7 and verse 1. It says, Then said the high priest, Are these things so? And he said, Men, brethren, and fathers, hearken. The power of glory appeared unto our father Abraham when he was in um, Mesopotamia before the, he dwelt in um, Koran. Matter of fact, that it? Yeah, was yeah. It Acts 6 and 1? It may be Acts, yeah. It may be Acts 6. Lucky. I know exactly the council you're talking about, dude. It's lucky. Yep. Yep, 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 come. Acts 6 verse 1, it says, And in those days when the number of the disciples was multiplied, there arose a murmuring of the Grecians against the Hebrews. Yeah, the Grecians, Greek, are, yeah. Yep. Hellenista. Yep. Those are uh, Jews. Greek speaking. They, they couldn't speak Hebrew. But yep. That's what Greek, yeah. Greek. Yeah. Because their widows were neglected in the daily ministration. Then the twelve called the multitude of the disciples unto them and said, it is not reason that we should leave the word of the most high and serve tables. Hey, it's not us, not our job, man. That's right. We got to do this work, man. All right? So the same thing now. It's not a job to be marriage counselors and keep this brother up with this, this, that, and that. It's in that Hebrew families. That's not our job, man. Mm -hmm. Our job is to do this work, man. And if we accomplish the work and we finish it in the kingdom of heaven, we have all eternity to build families, man. All eternity. Man. Right? That's the time for that. Because mm -hmm. the work is going to be what? It's done. So let me tell you that in the book of Revelation, the work of the Most High is going to be done. All right? Certain men finished their, their course already. Mm. All right? We, we haven't finished yet. We got to keep doing it. Man. Yeah, work to do. That's All right, right. Go ahead. Verse 3, Acts 63. Wherefore, brethren, look ye out among you, you seven men of honest report, full of the Holy Spirit. I think those are the deacons, right? Yeah. Yeah. And wisdom, whom we and Stephen was one, the one of the main ones. Yeah. Okay. Whom we may appoint over this business, but we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And this, and the saying pleased the most too, and they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit, and Philip, and um, and Proctorus, and the Kenyer, and Timon, 
and Parmenes, or Parmenes and Nicholas, a proselyte of Antioch, whom they set before the apostles, and when they had prayed and laid their hands on them, and the word of the Most High increased in the number of the disciples most by Jerusalem greatly, and a great company of the priests were obedient to the faith. Stephen was powerful in the spirit. Yes, it's right here. And Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and miracles among the people. He was mighty in the faith, man. Right? He was mighty. Mighty. Mighty in the spirit. Yeah. So they said, nah, we, we, we got to focus on, you know, we got work to do with it. People say other men are both of those affairs, you know what I'm saying? We got work to do. We got work to do. So the same thing now. We don't got time for all that. We about our father's business. We about our father's business. That's right. Yeah. We ain't about all that. Look this brother up. We got time. We got time for all of that. Yeah. And then she emailing the bishop. Oh, bishop, he looking at porn. I couldn't believe what I was hearing looking at I looking at IUIC, man. Yeah, man. What kind of shit is going on in there, man? That's crazy. That's some cult like shit going yeah, that's on. Crazy. In there, man. That's crazy. That's none of the bishop's business, man. That's none of your goddamn business. Bishop, you out of order, man. Mm -hmm. Right? He turned around to his wife, bitch, you out of goddamn order. You don't lost your mind, man. Mm -hmm. you right? Hit your head. You know? Writing another man, which was going on in our house. Then you out of order, man. All right, but all right, now, since you want to do all of that, I'm going to give me another woman now. You know? Because clearly, you know, you're not satisfying my needs. So I'm watching this thing and smacking off. So now I'm going to get another woman, man. How about that? You get another woman. Well, I'm gonna tell the bishop that you you committing adultery. It's not adultery, you know. If I get kicked out, if I get kicked out, I'm getting kicked out now. <laughs> Those are what you call because that's what sorry. the precepts of men. Precepts of men, because that's what they that goes on in that. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. You can't have multiple wives. You know, you, that's why he's that's why he's smacking off. He wants another woman, man. Yeah, man. He's smacking off because this woman not pleasing the needs. So he's he not can, pleasing him. She blew up to three hundred. Yeah. Pounds. Like yep. he said, he, that she, every time he wanted to get it on, she uh, she put the child in the middle of both of them. Yeah. What the fuck you expect them to do, man? Oh, it's good to see. But we're also how you're not supposed to hold out for sex. Yeah, you're not. Yeah. You're not. You're not. That's in Corinthians. That's off, man. Yeah. And you, are you auto, you, are you, you, you overweight, right? And you putting the child in the middle of both of y'all every night? What that? What you expect your husband to do, man? So, so like the brother said, he can't do that. Just get. I'm gonna get another woman. Fuck right. that. That's a, yeah. That's it's right. funny because the scripture said the scripture say not to hold out to avoid fornication. Yeah. And then when you look at the yeah. word porn. It's the um, pornea. Pornea. pornea is the Greek Pornic word. Can, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fornication. Yeah. <laughs> to, avoid, to avoid that pornea, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't hold it out of your husband, man. Exactly. You know, you don't have him looking at other women, you know, so give him what he just needs when you want it, man. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Don't hold out for the child. like Sarah, get him another wife. Exactly. Yeah. Boom, she, all that. She the one who gave, gave Abraham a mm. Literally, yeah. They was battling to please Jacob, mm. man. Oh, no, sorry, I'm thinking that's that's Abraham. Yeah, oh, Abraham I'm thinking yes, about Jacob yes, Sarah, as well. Yes, Sarah, yes, Sarah got him on. Yeah, I slipped like and I slipped even up. Jacob, they gave him his hand, they handmade it. Uh, so get him another woman. Exactly. It's good to say be like be like Sarah. Call calling him Lord. You know, I I, I might have shaped my Lord. I just had a newborn. I'm see if we get you another woman. Uh, yeah. One of good report. Yeah, so yeah. That could do this, that could please you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Like as a matter of fact, it's a man over in the east. I think I forgot. I think he um he Muslim, Arab, you know, Ishmaelite guy. His wife's complained about something, and um he went and he married her friends. He got her friends, you know what I'm saying? And she was mad now, and, and she's all sad that like, he now he got three wives and two of them are her friends, you know what I'm saying? So, but I, I'm thinking of an example, a woman that may know a woman. They oh these are close friends. She's actually very, she you know she's loyal, and things of that nature. She know how to cook, clean. She come on the house. I'll bring her as well. If you get a woman, that's a virtuous woman. Yeah. yeah. She said she's more precious than rupees, mm -hmm. but none of you women are on that. Level. None. That's a, that's a different level of thinking. That's a different kind of woman. Yeah. That's a woman that's into you for you. For man. you. Like yo, you know what I'm. I, Ain't I'm got a little say, wisdom. You know what I mean? But I'm gonna get you. Another, I'm gonna get you. A, you gonna get a, a good woman for you. Mm -hmm. And then it's all whipped back in shape. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You no, know, but these women ain't they ain't doing that, man. Who that's said? like that's like what we said. That's like finding a ruby. Especially in the American Babylon well, race. Ain't, ain't no woman doing that, man. Well, you you some wicked ass rapper. They be having threesomes and you woman just demons. Yeah, they, they, that's crazy. Yeah. They'll have a man, right? And then the man got DMs other women. She ah, you, you, you not loyal. You, you ain't shit. This on the third. And then here comes Meek Mill, the Rose Voice, pull up and with Twenty One Savage. She'll, she'll have a threesome. He like a pull up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then she not having a foursome. But yeah. other women there licking off, freaking off, and she getting her black. 
b back blown and she go back to her men, you know what I'm saying, and complain about him with other women. You, yeah. you women are demons, man. You fucking selects. Demons, That's it. Man. Straight up hoes, man. Harlots. Whores. So you Some mutts. All right. Skeezers. Cheeses. All right. That hole over there. Stop. Okay. That's what you want. Cause that's crazy. But at the end of the day, we, we stick with the script say. Script says law for men to have multiple wives, and that's that's his business, man. He could do that if he want. And you got no say in it at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you are a righteous, virtuous woman, like for example, Abraham, like the brother mentioned, Abraham with uh, with Sarah, and she gave him Hagar. Remember, she wanted to put Hagar away because Hagar grabbed Ishmael for you know whatever, and he said, "Do what you're talking about. I mean, do what your um your handmaid. I do do what your handmaid. That's that's you. Right, she belongs to you. Also, you know what I'm saying? So he." He was whatever Sarah said, he was with it. He's like, you know, he put her away. You know what I'm saying? Whatever he's with you. But he wanted a firstborn. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord gave him, it's not Isaac that she's going to be called. You know? We go to the story with Jacob. All right? He had, uh, he wanted, he worked seven years for Rachel. Got Leah instead. He's like, yo, uh, he's like, I'm working another seven years. But it went by like that because he really loved Rachel. Now he got Rachel. Then they both was given, he, and it, it came with a package deal. It came with Zilpah and Bilhah. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't even, you know, he, he got a package there. He got four. And he was battling to get bear him children. You know, literally. It was like, These women are doing that. These women battling um, to get more likes. Boom. And he battling to kill children. Yeah, yeah. They battling to put them to yeah. death. And they want abortions. Yeah. Yeah. They go to Miami, the Miami Strip. They come back pregnant. And be like, I'm they, they be in a dancing and, 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 and Planned Parenthood. You know? They yeah, ask them. them they, you know? they, there's mad guys who be asking them, yo, if you get pregnant, you to get an abortion? She's like, hells yeah. Wickedness. It, yes, wickedness. It's wickedness. You gotta take that to the chin. You gotta be responsible. Yeah, bitches like Britney Rhonda. That's a fucking baby eater. Yo, it's funny. Uh, bitches are damn. I using her mouth to uh, eat niggas' uh, children, man. Literally. Literally, yeah. That's disgusting. You know? And a, a DJ Academics kind of like <laughs> rebuked her. It was funny. She said something like, Why would a man take me seriously? Something like that. She, he, said, he said, You will never be more than a side chick. We, we, we read your book. He said, that's it. That's all you ever will be. You know what I'm saying? He said, why? Because, uh, listen, the man that you get with, they have other women. That's why they text you on the Lord. You're a sneaky link. You know what I'm saying? That's it. You're a sneaky link, and you're, you're a side chick. You're a hoe. You're a come up. You know when men take, put you first. You, you said she's a baby eater. That's all you're good for. Eating niggas' children, man. She's an eater. Yeah, that's all you're good for, man. Be on your knees. That's your that's your profession. Like you said, that's a, and Brittany Ryan is a Jew. How is that possible, man? Damn. That's a Jew? She's not even on the level of Rahab, man. That's a Jew. That's an Israelite. Wow. Wow. That's disgraceful, man. Disgraceful. Mm. But guess what? Society collapsed. We're going to see the independent spirit. We're going to see if you care about being the fifth, seventh, eighth, eleventh, thousandth wife. That's the only option you have. That's it. Think about God's shit, man. Because it'd be like one, it'd be a shortage of men. Cause men gonna be dying left and right. You know what I'm saying? And then a lot of women, you understand this women too. Women are spoils to war. So yes, a lot of women gonna die in these last days, but a lot of men gonna grab them up and they gonna sell you off. They gonna do shit with you. They're gonna use you. You know what I'm saying? And they showed that in the movie the Book of Eli. You know what I'm saying? They use that after they use an abuse of break all type of shit, they use it to lure other men in, lure other people in. Help me with my car. You know? Then when she saw it was a woman, she's like, you gotta, you gotta run. They grabbed that about to rape her. You know, Denzel shot the arrow between their nuts. You know what I'm saying? But the point is this. When that time comes, the script is going to women mourning because they have no husbands because their husband's going to die in the famine. You see? We're not the elect men. That's why the elect men be what? It's precious to find gold. More uh, precious than gold and wedge of Ophir. Seven women take hold of one man, the elect men. Why? Because one sort of men and they men of the Lord. And they stand in faith to Yahweh by Shemel Shah. You see that? They are um, firm and they believe they're stable. They got faith. They got treasure. It's the wisdom. And earthen vessels. So the woman gonna notice that they gonna fuck, and he now the ball is in his is in, in his favor. And now they gonna, the they gonna hear head. about the works, see the works, yeah. yeah, witness certain things happening. Angels coming from they gonna see an angel come from that brother. Imagine that. Imagine women see an angel come deliver you out of the situation. Y'all in a camp, you know, <laughs> and you there, you chilling, you just calm. Like, you so calm. What the fuck is you know, you hear people screaming. Or like, remember what Denzel in a movie. Yeah. And that was a young eater, my girl, too. Feening. Yeah. She ain't gonna let him go. Yeah, and she, when she, she, saw, her, she saw how he got down in that, that bar. Boom. She's yeah, like, yeah. nah, this is, I don't want to be with this guy. Yeah, yeah. He, he locked her. He, he had to literally lock her away. 
That's how it's gonna be, man. Yeah. And Jacob's trouble, man. This is still got out there still looking for him. Him. Got him, man. Doing it. Yeah, that was madness, man. He said, yo, listen, man, the road is no place for him. She banging on, let me out, let me out. <laughs> right? And she still followed him in the, in the fucking wilderness, man. Man, I seen his mouth. Yeah. He was quoting the scriptures as he does came, as he does, she shall return. He getting ready. Yeah, he's, it's funny because the movie, he's, he's, he's a blind man. He physically couldn't see, but he spiritually, he could see everything. See that? Because he had the word. He put them to death, man. He went to work. She saw that. See? That's a heavy, that's a good movie, man. You can watch. Great movie, man. So, and, and then it's like a, a prelude of what's going to happen in reality, but on a higher level in, in these last days, the brothers, man. All right? They're going to literally see with the power. They're going to see the most side witch. They're going to see you do miraculous things. They're going to see angels come through. All right? Like I said, through the spirit, you may be in the camp, and then they call your name next to get put to death for some shit. I don't know, get tortured. You to stand up, you know? You praise the Alba Shemal Shai. You just get me out of this, what it gets me to be. Then they should know that they see a light shine and you just vanish. They go and sit. Then later on down the line, let's say like a week later with some shit, whatever. They, these women that was probably there, probably found a way to escape with some shit, see you. Like, oh, you know what? That's when I got vanished out of. Hey, can I come with you? I'm good. You good, sweetheart? You know what I'm saying? You, was on, you had OnlyFans. You're going to start rebuking people, man. You know? You got a thousand bodies, man. You ran. Yeah, she's like, what am I supposed to do? You step back, like, yo, you independent. You do what you want to do. Exactly. You're a strong, independent, liberated woman. Especially right? yeah. those women that's made those statements. Yeah, especially these women, yeah, Eve, that making the money to bag some of them the legal way um, up there in Esau society, or some of them being smuts, or some of them through child support, some of them through alimony, taking men this and that. Mm -hmm. You're going to tell y'all, listen, you independent, you free, do what you, do what you want to do. You know what I mean? Do whatever. Let me do what I get. Yeah. I was going to say, you might say to her something that she had told her in the world, like, oh, I don't need a man. And maybe she posted a status on Facebook. You might, you might say her status back to her. I, I thought she didn't need a man. She you don't need know? a man's sister. Like the brick face yeah. um, bitch, remember? Yeah, yeah. She, she, she had a whole rant about how men ain't shit. She don't need men. Woman is the the, the, uh, the prize, the whole type of thing she was saying. She got hit with a brick in the face. They yeah, start mocking her like Elijah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, come on, sister, you gotta be strong, man. Yeah, you stop just crying, shit, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what Get I mean? Get on your knees, stop begging. Stop me. begging, man. I thought you was above You're better than that. Come better. on now. I thought you was equal or above us. What are you doing? Get up, yo. You're Get a up. queen, right? Yeah. You're a goddess. Get up. You should save yourself. Hell yeah. You know? And she would be crying, no, please, I'm sorry. I, I need a man. I'm, I'm not a goddess. I'm not nothing. You know what I'm saying? Off. You just, you just, a lot of times you look up, you're gone. Yeah, you're gone, man. You don't have time for that, man. You may kick him before you go. Make Get out of there, man. Oh, your bitches be getting shoved left and right in IG, man. You got to let it, like, push And like you said, they're not going to look or smell how they do now. Nah. Some of you don't even smell or look good anyway, man. Yeah, nah. Say when you're trying to go into the club, bitches wearing bonnets and looking same clothes every day, no oil, don't nothing, man. Just plain, man. You right. can get popped by mad men in one day and all of that, then not shower by at least smell like No, B. Simone Zero. said that. She said that. She takes showers every other day. That means she go to the club, do all X, Y, and Z, and then just go to sleep. She's not the only one. What? Right. I got I got something just to um, you know, just hit that just hit the point. Isaiah chapter 32, verse 2. And a man shall be as in hiding place from the wind. Yeah, remember? The man gonna be a covering. Right. Remember they said Nate said um what do it mean um take away the roof? <laughs> he said, what? <laughs> Nate said what do it mean Isaiah that for all, take oh, away yeah. the reproach? He said oh the most I gonna give stability to um, they're not gonna have their periods anymore. That was like what? It was like yo where did you get that answer from, Mark? He said yo bro I thought you was teaching these brothers man what's going on? <laughs> Nah, that's crazy. Yo, you take away the ability to take away their periods, man, brother, man. Yeah, sit down, sit Ock, down, man. Right, right. What the hell are you talking about, it's brother? Brother, you off, man. You Truth said, put your hand up on your mouth. You don't know something, yeah. man. All right? It tells you in Isaiah, the third chapter, what that reproach is, man. They're going to be made base. They're going to be made a low. Most high is going to take away everything that makes them comfortable in this society, man. They're going to have no covering in that time. They're going to be bare, stripped down, and naked, man. And their husband's going to die. It tells you in Isaiah the third chapter. That's their approach. So up to them is saved. They're going to need a covering. They're going to need a. 
Not once. They don't need a man of the Lord in that time. Like us, we need a covering. We, we need, need Yahweh Shah. Shah. Exactly. Need, yeah, that's our hedge. We need him. That's our Lord. That's our head. You know what I'm saying? So, you woman, yeah, I ought to realize that. You need a man. And not just any old man. A man of the Lord. Like Yahweh Shah. Yep. You're going to need him. Need him. Okay. All right, go ahead. Isaiah chapter 32, verse 2. And a man shall be in a hiding place from the wind. The destruction. Like right. Genesis at the seventh chapter, Noah, his wife, Shimham, Japheth, their wives, you know how happy these women was? Everyone else died. They all flooded and drowned. You know, they was like, damn, I'm just here because I'm his wife. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I'm bearing him chill. That's why I'm here. You know, that's my purpose to serve this man right. You know what I'm saying? So you women gotta realize that. <clears throat> Not, you're gonna die. So Isaiah chapter 32 verse 2 Yeah they're going to snap back into that feminine mode ASAP snap back The to hard, reality. most hardest looking stud Going to be um, tell Taming that, that time She's like Stay Take the fitted off yeah. 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 Take off them Tim boots You're going to try to Try to fuck her up pull, uh, Like Judith Make her do herself makeup up yeah. Still see past that wicked ass man yeah. Alright But even they going to try to be humble down man we gonna see the scar with yeah, that yeah. breast removed, you know. Nah, fuck fucking what's that. her name? What's that light skinned chick name? It's young and me. Yeah, she gonna try to be humble and bow before her brothers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's done. <laughs> like nah, man. We we'll yeah. see you on the next side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta get. You gotta come back. Cause you gotta come back, man. You, me, you, 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 you gone, see, man. You gone, man. Right? You know what I mean? Huh? All right. But you saying the point is, woman like that gonna try to get right, man. Because it's gonna be bad out here, man. Yeah, bad. Bad. Scripture says men are gonna be afraid. Uh. Men gonna be shook out here, man. Okay. Niggas already shook with the C19. That's why they bowed to the image. Alright. But we're gonna close this out though, cause my phone gonna die. We'll close this out though. We're gonna say Kolo Maya how about Shimmy Al Shad. What's up, dumb odds tells the GMS and honest to the Akian and be some blessed brothers and sisters that listen over full elect. That we're gonna say shallow one.